Hey guys, it's me, your favorite Sparky. So, um, let me do something right quick. Hey Moonstone, hey uh, Judy, doing okay today? It's been beautiful here. You would never know. Well, you would because up in the shade, there's still places where there's a little bit of snow, but not much. Uh, anyway, but I mean, it's been in the high 50s. I've gone out all afternoon without a jacket. Rassy. Oh, Mr. Rascal's here. He's exploring. I had a treat. I'm working on his house breaking and if you let him out the back door he just goes nuts and barks at the dog next door they've got a new puppy over there and that puppy barks back the big dog won't bark back he just looks at rassy and sniffs at him but uh, uh the puppy he he wanted to bark back and the big dog would like try to get between rassy and the puppy so so just send out your prize with your order huh so anyway so Pulled back the curtain. You can't hardly tell that it's pulled back. But I've got it pulled up back here. So that I could let a little light in. It is actually still daylight here at 6.03. Dave is out walking. And hey Green Fairy. Come on. Come on and say hey to everybody. Big Bubba Ward. Mwah, him a good boy. Him don't care what daddy says. Him is a good boy. Anyway, him loves his ma. Yep. So, uh, hey, Tammy. Hey, Diz. Green Fairy, Judy, Barbie, Jamers. Hey, everybody. So, I need to, uh, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm, I squeeze you and call you George. Let me call you George. Come on, kitties. Come on, give kisses. Mm. You're my baby. So, okay, you're gonna have to go. Daddy will be in in a minute, and then you and Daddy can hang out and watch wrestling. So I need to uh, pull my screen up. Hey, Clarissa. Hey, Susie P. How are you? Um. <laughs> y'all, let me know if y'all have any trouble. Uh. Hey, Bob, how are you? Hadn't seen you in a few weeks. Hope you're doing good. Let's see. Do, do, do. I'll make sure my, yeah, I'm silent here. There we go. My channel. Hey, Sandra Conco, how are you? And here we go. Anyway, we got there. We got a new router. Um, and so hopefully it will oops, solve some of our problems. We'll see. So it looks like we got 19 in the house. Thank you everybody for coming and spending your evening with me. Hey, Carolyn Gambrel, I thought of you today. I got in an awesome bead order. Anyway, I ordered these, um, clothes and a beads. And they're four millimeter, and I had no idea that four millimeter beads was that small. I ordered some, uh, yeah, they're little bitty. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to make some jewelry. I ordered this stuff. Hey, Kim, oh, it says Faith. Yeah, this is one of my favorite shirts. I swapped wearing it to church on Sunday. So I got it from a, a company called Faith in Love, and they, uh, they advertise on Facebook. Facebook. I actually feel better than I have felt in weeks. I'm, I'm I'm doing real good. My pulse rate is back up in the 60s after they halved one of my medicines. Um, and um, yeah, I'm feeling real good. I've not hardly had any AFib, but um, just a little bit, just a little bit. So, and I got some new face makeup, guys. And uh, I know everybody's like face makeup. Who cares? But most of the time, I've had uh, my face makeup makes my allergies run. And I actually found this <laughs> at a, I'm trying to think where I found it, at at an outlet store. I paid a dollar or two for it. It's CoverGirl Outlast Active. 
and it does not make my face, my eyes run. But what's funny is regularly, regular cover girl makes my eyes run like a sea. So anyway, so uh, I'm going to be offering a couple of pieces of jewelry that I made um, tonight. And let's just go over some things. If you're new to my channel, I do invoices the day after the sale. Uh, you should have your invoice by usually by the time Barbie goes live. Sometimes I am a, a little slow. Depends on how distracted I get during the day. Anyway, but uh, uh, you have 48 hours after you get your invoice to pay unless you make special arrangements with me. Um, but if you do not make special arrangements and you do not communicate with me, um, if you look on your invoice, there are some rules that says it. And it's also in the description. Uh, if you do not communicate and you don't make special arrangements, then your stuff goes back in the next auction. So, um, and I've had those rules up for a long time, <laughs> and uh, but I haven't mentioned it, but I don't have no problem with people not communicating, so people are doing good about communicating with me. I have quite a bit of silver tonight. Uh, I do have James Avery, a James Avery ring, and I'm just going to show y'all this, and we'll talk about it later in the show. Y'all remember my James Avery necklace that I have? Okay, I sparkled him up a little today. I tested him again. And I have him up on a silent auction, a private silent auction. The starting bid on him is $100. Actually, a her is $100. And you're saying, wow, Cindy, you don't ever start anything that high. You're right. I don't start anything that high. But I'd rather keep him and just look at him than sell him for less than a hundred because when I found him I found one of them that was sold for a hundred and fifty now I can't find any on the sold list and I can only find one listed and it's listed for nearly twice the hundred and fifty it's listed for 280 right now on eBay now does is that how I determine my prices yes and no I, 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 why I tell y'all that is I want you to know what the true value is, what it is worth. So anyway, because, but here's another thing. Things are only worth to you what you're willing to pay. Just like that's only worth to me what I'm willing to let it go for. So there you go. Um, something else. Oh, Um, anyway, I'm watching, I'm watching to make sure I get, like I said, we got a new, new, uh, router today and I want to make sure everything stays good and I'm going to, I need to send out a couple of messages. Um, <laughs> uh, so we have giveaways tonight. Uh, I have six pieces of jewelry for you to choose from. There will be. Oh, there will also be something new here. So um, let me uh, let me do something. Let me let me just show you the giveaways. First of all, we have a choice of jewelry. Second of all, we have two dollars off. Third of all, we have a choice of jewelry. This is the new one. D. One, one free item on your order, the least expensive one, or I'll take $3 off your order. So, anyway, but uh, 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 that is the new giveaway for the week. So, then we've got free shipping and another choice of jewelry. I did do six pieces of jewelry for you, for you to choose from. Uh, so... Uh, and I'll go over the rules when we do the giveaway. I have a lot of things tonight. I have more than 50, but that's just because I, uh, I keep, kept finding things. Oh, that needs to go in the cell. That needs to go in the cell. So, anywho, you know how it goes. Let's see if I can get over here. So, there's 33 people here. Let's get started. 
And um, Barbie, are you still there? Barbie, Barbie, are you still there? Barbie, Barbie. Don't know if Barbie's still there. Okay. Here we go. Bucket number one. And for all of those interested, hey CCC, how are you? Thank you. I ordered it on 21115 Virgo 13. Are you Sylvie? Barbie, you are still there. Will you do me a favor and send Cindy Jewelry Nurse and uh, Roberta a message and tell them that I'm live with my link? I forgot to do that. So if you just came in, I'm just showing this. This is on a silent auction on my channel. It is a piece of James Avery. The bid starts at $100. It is 14 inches long. There will also be a James Avery ring tonight. And uh, yeah, so... We have a lot of things. I do have, there's my friend Jude. So, uh, Lori, I see Lori. Patty. Patty, have you registered with me? If you wish to bid, you need to register. All you have to do is send your information to Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. I just need your real name, your YouTube name, your PayPal invoice address, and where you live so I'll know how to do your shipping. So here's our first thing, item up for bids. It is an antique gold wire wrapped quartz ring. And it has a pink tone to it. I'm pretty sure it's a rose quartz. Um, and, oh, here, let me pull my thing out. And it is a size... Uh, it goes down to a size eight and a half, but I will tell you it's got, because it is a hand crafted one and because it is um, made out of wire wrap, it stretches. I can get it onto, and I normally wear a 10 on this finger. So we're going to start this ring at $3, guys. $3. So dollars $3. That's what it looks like from the side. I do not remember where I got this ring. I thought, I think it came in a lot. I did get in two lots today. I got in, but there are lots for me making jewelry. That's why I have some of my jewelry I'm offering tonight. I made a set this afternoon. So $3 on the quartz ring. It is wire wrapped. It is not made by me. And I'm pretty sure it's not made by April neither. And Kent, Barbie said she didn't think it was Ken. So, anyway. Hey, Vita. I didn't see you. Come in, sweetie. Cindy Lou Bob. For all of those that of you that wonder why some of them call me Cindy Lou Bob, I have mentioned in one of my videos in the past that that is what my brother calls me, is Cindy Lou Bob. I asked him one day, why do you call me that? He said, I don't know. I just do. So, anyway, but, uh, uh. Yeah, you didn't either. What did you not either? So, $3, guys. $3 is the start. It's a size eight and a half. Is that what I said? Eight and a half? Hmm. Yeah, eight and a half. Okay, I'm going to pass on it. Now you know. Yep. My my brother calls me that. I, me and my brother are real, real close in age. Like <laughs> my dad's my dad's favorite joke was telling people that they got married in July. I was born in August and my brother was born in September. And we were. That is how it all happened, but it was 13 months apart. So so it was 13 months apart. But yeah, that was my dad's favorite thing to tell people that. They got married in July. I was born in August, and my brother was born in September. So, anyway. And my dad was 18 when I was born. They got married when my dad was 17. They got married in July, right before he turned 18 in August. And then uh, 
I was born the next August at the beginning of the month, and his birthday was at the end of the month. So, what am I looking for? Why do I keep messing that up? So, yeah. Okay, we're looking at about 16 inches with a 3-inch extender, and we have this real pretty Marcusat, I think, Marcusat looking necklace. Really, really pretty. Thank you. It's got a double chain here. We'll start this at $4. It is not silver or anything, but it is very, very pretty. Oh, no. No, Rassy didn't scratch my arm. So I've told y'all before. I've told y'all before that I have all of this is scars. I, I caught on fire in 1994 and all of this is scar tissue. Anyway, I had a sore here that uh, was bleeding, and so I put a Band-Aid on it, and I forgot to take the Band-Aid off, and when I took the Band-Aid off, it ripped the skin. So, <laughs> anyway, so we're at, we got $4, guys, $4 to start this, okay? Well, now I've managed to do it. That's not what I want. I want this right here. Four dollars. Hi, Ro. How are you? Looky there. Uh, little either marcasite or hematite. I think they're marcasites. Um, necklace in the roomy. You're allergic to band aid adhesive. Anyway, uh, the bid is the starting bid is four dollars on that. And thank you, Miss Barbie. Anyway. Hi, thrifty little cow. How are you? Welcome back. We're starting the bid on this at $4. So, uh, if you notice behind me, I've rearranged some things because my son had to have all this room for all these things. So, uh, anyway, so that moved some of my... Hey, Lisa. Hello. How are you? No, I've only showed two things. So, so I've only showed two things. Okay, $4 starting bid on this, guys. That's where we're starting. It is 16 inches with a 3-inch extender. It has a double chain in a mesh. In a mesh. There we go. So, anyhow. Okay, guys. Nobody interested in that? We'll pass on it if nobody's interested. Four dollars. Four dollars was the starting bid on it. People couldn't find you. Was you lost? Yeah, it, it's hard to find you. If you type in Barbie Crafts, oh my gosh. You get 101 <laughs> crafts with Barbie. Okay, guys, I bought this. I don't think last year. I think it was the year before that. I bought this from Jude. Actually, I didn't buy it from Jude. I bought this from... Uh, I, I didn't buy just this. I bought a lot of necklaces from Jude. So, we're looking at about 23... No, oh, yeah, about... Probably about 24 inches is what we're looking at. Anyway, so, um, anyway, I kept this because it's gorgeous. Absolutely, positively gorgeous. And it's on this gold link chain. And it's this beautiful piece of abalone. And you know what? You're going to have to, I'm going to have to turn off the light so you can really see how pretty it is. There we go. Okay, it's this really pretty piece of abalone, and it's outlined in gold, and it has this gold, gold laying on it, uh, gold, like a gold thread, well, almost like a gold thread, but what's interesting to me is on the back of it, the host 
to the abalone was coral. It had coral growing on it. Is that not gorgeous? Piece of coral growing onto the back of the abalone shell. And then you've got this abalone here. And we're going to start the bids on this at $6, guys. 24 inches, $6 is where we're starting. Very much well worth it. It is so gorgeous. Y'all know I say this all the time. If it don't sell, it'll just have to go back to my room. I did clean out my jewelry. That's why we are, um, that's why y'all are seeing a lot of things. Got Barbie in at six. I absolutely love this piece. I think it is probably one of the most unique pieces. And I really thought, you know, I don't wear much gold. Y'all, I had on gold a couple of weeks ago, but I don't wear much gold. And I thought I would wear this. But here's the thing. I have tons. I mean, I have, hey, Sandy, I have um, probably six pairs of abalone earrings. And guess what? They're all silver. So I had no earrings to wear with it. <laughs> so, and I love my earrings. You know, I love my earrings. It, uh, Charlotte's not here. These I got from, from Charlotte. I found this piece of whatever it is in a lot. And um, I thought that's a cool pendant. So I'll put it on a chain. We have Barbie in at six. Anybody else want to come in on this? Barbie is in at six, guys. Barbie is in at six. We're going once at six dollars. One time at six dollars, I don't know where I've managed to put my favorite ink pen. Oh no, can I have a sale without my favorite ink pen? I'm not sure. I was putting picking up things and putting them in the bucket today. So going twice at six dollars. This is number three. Number three, twice at six dollars. Thank you. I will check my email right now. Make sure I'm on the right one. Here we go. Yes. Patty, I have you. You are free to bid. You're free to bid. You can make me a pair of gold tone abalone earrings. Well, it won't do me no good. I'm selling this to Barbie right now. So, anyway, thank you, Mike, for the offer. That's sweet. And we're sold to uh, Barbie for $6. Thank you, Barbie. That's pretty. Are you going to wear it? Are you going to wear it, Barbie? Barbie, 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 are you going to wear it? Hey, uh, Patty, if you don't know, Barbie has auctions on, on uh, Tuesday nights. So... I don't know if you've ever seen it. So, okay. So, guys, I'm going to, because this is not in my number system, but I'm going to go ahead and offer it, and I'll put a, another number on it. Let's see if I can find a baggie for it. There we go. So, I am offering you a, a toggle bracelet of garnets. These are real garnets. Um, I'm pretty sure all of this is stainless steel, but I couldn't swear to it, but I made it where it will fit up to like a seven and a half to an eight inch wrist, but it also will go down to a six inch wrist. So you can dangle like that. And it has my CLJ on it. Cindy loves jewelry. And those are beautiful garnets. And because... I had nothing else to do this afternoon. I made a matching pair of earrings to go with it. So you got little silver bead spacers. They're not real silver. Little silver bead spacers. And a pair of matching earrings. And I'm going to start the bids on this at $7, guys. $7 on the garnet set. You got earrings. And these are new hooks. All of that's new. Garnet beads. I don't have my own hang, hang tags. Uh, I have blanks and I, I metal stamp them. <laughs> so that's why sometimes the letters are off. <laughs> so sometimes it works good and sometimes it don't. And they are, it's strong on a wire. It's not stretchy. It is strong on a wire. 
So, oh, I'm not a show off. I just, this kind of stuff is easy to make quick for me. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you that even though these, these, uh, these uh, other loops, hold on, Cindy, you have to make sure you know what you're doing here. Okay, even though these other little links are sm are smaller than uh, are smaller than the other than the other. Okay, this is the original link. These are the other links. It is smaller, but it will go through there, guys. It will go through there. <laughs> okay, Cindy, will it go through there? You had it through there three times this afternoon, but that was before you put your tag on it. May have to go in that tag, in that one. Let's see. I know it will go. So, there it is. Yeah, there it is on one of the smaller ones. So, $7 is my starting point, guys. <laughs> Veda. Mike's made you bunches of stuff. Rose in at seven dollars. Rose in at seven dollars. This is a Cindy Loves Jewelry piece, and I have another one in later. Hey, DJ Live. Welcome, Miss Debbie. If I don't know if you heard me describing, but these are this is jewelry that I made. They are real garnets. I just got them. Actually, I just got them in May. I got in uh, several strands of of real stone chips. I love chips, okay? I love chips. So, you have to go in at, up at least a quarter on them if you're interested. You get the bracelet and the earrings. And this will be number 3A. <laughs> Three A Garnet. Okay. You love Garnet DJ's in at eight. This is really pretty Garnet. I got some really good deals on some on some stones. And you know, sometimes when you buy stones and you can't look at them, you're not real sure. But these were really nice stones. I got some yellow jade. I got some uh, kiwi jasper opal. I got some opal chips, the garnet chips. Of course, my regular, you know, it, nothing can happen without me doing labradorite. I love labradorite. That's probably my favorite stone. Anyway, it, other than black spinel, I do like black spinel. But uh, yeah, so rose out. We're going once at $8 to Miss DJ. And that is Miss Debbie. We're going twice at eight dollars, Miss Debbie. And we are going to say final warning, garnet, bracelet, and earrings. And we're sold for eight dollars to Miss Debbie. Thank you, Ro, and thank you, Miss Debbie. So. My eyes are starting to water now after I said that makeup wouldn't make my eyes water. Now it's starting to water. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay. I was making sure Dave was in. Because <laughs> he was walking when I started my show and all of a sudden now it's dark and I wanted to make sure he was in. So, thanks. Okay, guys. Um, it is either glass or stone. It's not. It doesn't feel like plastic. Buy it now. Three dollars. It's yours. Uh, your word will be green. Buy it now. Three dollars. It's yours. Green is your word. Let me see. 39's here. 
Buy it now. Three dollars. Green is your word. Green is your word. This is number four. It's cute. Okay, I'm going to pass on it. If you see it later and you want it, tell me green. Okay, guys, let me read what I wrote because it's been a week since I've done this. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There are nine charms on this charm bracelet. The bracelet is sterling silver. Six of the charms are sterling. You like my top? I got you, Michelle. I got you. Number four. Green pendant. Three dollars, Michelle. There we go. I got you. Okay. Okay. So I have this charm bracelet. Okay. I'll show you the charms. We've got this one that looks like lovebirds. We've got this one here, that somebody symbol. It's not, that is not Sterling. Class of 69 is Sterling. The little boy head is Sterling. The sweet 16 is Sterling. The telephone is Sterling. The copper pendant is not Sterling. Copper pendant is not Sterling. And the well is not sterling. And that one is sterling. Okay. And the cap and gown is sterling. The cap. The mortarboard is sterling. Okay. Nine charms. Seven and seven point seven five. Seven point here. There we go. Seven point seven five inches long. All sterling. Vintage. And if if it was too long for you because of the style of the chain of it, it would be real easy. It's a spring ring. Real easy just to clasp it inside the bracelet somewhere, okay? Hi, Emma. How are you? Guys. There you go. You have... If you wanted to take it apart and sell the... the, the the uh, charms, there's six of them. If you sold all six of them at five to ten dollars, you would make good money on it. So I'm great. We're going to start this at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is where we're starting. Sterling charm bracelet, uh, nine charms. Six of them are sterling. There are this little copper one is not sterling. The little whale is not sterling in this little blue symbol symbol of some kind are not sterling so hey cheryl we've got moonstone mamas in at 20 cheryl cyber mm -hmm. moonstone mamas is in at 20 Barbara says, hello, Cheryl, and hello, Dale. Is Dale even home from work yet? KFC is your favorite. KFC. Okay. Oh, my cup. Actually, ours is a KFC Taco Bell combined, and we had Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm drinking unsweet tea, so... We've got Moonstone Mamas in at $20. Anybody else coming in on this? $20, guys. There's a little bit of weight to this. Oh, is he still in, in Washington? You're going to fix a steak? That sounds so good to me. That can't be right. Cheryl's in at 21. 
Are we still on ounces? Guys, when I weigh this, it says it weighs an ounce. Thirty grams. How much is how many grams is in a in an ounce? I don't know. Because my gram thing always seems off. But it does say one ounce. It goes to one, one ounce, and then it'll go 1.1 ounce. So we have Cheryl in at 21 on the Sterling bracelet. Very solid. I don't know who Jonathan Cardinal is, and I don't know what your 31.1. 31.1 grams in an ounce is what is that what you're saying? That's how many grams in an ounce. So um, it's not too far off. So thank you for that information. I appreciate it. So Vita said 28, she thought. So okay. Are you done, Moonstone? I've got Cheryl at $21. Cheryl is at $21. Jonathan, if you wish to bid, you, all you have to do is register by emailing me at cindylovesjewelryar at gmail.com. We're going once at $21. One time at $21. Twice at $21. And I thank you for your information because I don't know these things some days. Twice at $21. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for $21 to Cheryl Saver. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Jamers. There we go. Now I can turn off my scale. Okay. Now, this is signed. American Eagle, I believe. I showed it to y'all the other day. No, maybe 28 is 28 in an ounce. 28 in an ounce. Okay. So my thing was saying 30 in an ounce. So it's a little it weighs a little heavy, don't it? So this is made by American Eagle. This is really cool. Really, really cool. Oh. Twenty six inches long, twenty eight point three five grams. Okay, so let me make sure I have it all turned around right because that will. There we go. Okay, it is American Eagle, and you have this stone that looks like an opalite or opalite glass, opal glass in there, uh, and the half moons. And it is it has a hang tag on it that says American Eagle. Yeah, it says American Eagle. And let's go. You thought it was 30 in an ounce. Let's go. Um, let's start the bids on this at uh, $3, guys. $3 on the American Eagle. And it's kind of a antique gold. I mean, it has some wear on it, but... If you wanted to take it apart and just use this, you could real easy and put your own dingle dangles and all that on it. So, this is number five. Got Jude in it, three. Could do all kinds of things with it. Jude is in it, three. And I've turned it around backwards again, you can see. Or Mel is weighed by 28 grams per ounce. Okay. Thank you. So... So, anyway, that bracelet weighed an ounce. <laughs> so, kitty, uh, in a Troy ounce. It is a antique gold tone. It's not silver. It's an antique gold. Hey, Susan. There we go. Hey, jewelry nurse. How are you? Okay, we're going once at $3, guys. One time at $3. Twice at $3. Twice at $3. Final warning. Final warning. A-E. Six. 
sold to Jude for three dollars. Thank you, Jude. Thanks everybody for all the information about the about the um, how much uh, it weighs. Okay, guys, I have a pair of New York and Company earrings. Uh, I don't know what these they were originally. Looks like ten ninety five. Let's do a buy it now on these. They are pierced. Buy it now for. Uh, no, let's not do a buy it now. Let's do a quarter auction. Let's start these at a quarter and go up. Start at a quarter. They are a peach and they have a. There we go. They have a glittery background in them. Real pretty. Real glittery background. So, starting at a quarter. Got Barbie's, Barbie in at a quarter. This is number six. New York earrings. Barbie's in at a quarter. Quarter, quarter. To quote Mr. Ken, it's a quarter. I missed that last night, uh, jewelry nurse. I got in late from church. We have we have night service too, so I got in late from church and I was tired. I had a big day yesterday. I had twenty three kids yesterday morning in children's church. So, and after a week out of school playing in the snow, they were a little wound up, <laughs> a whole lot wound up. In fact, so Barbie's in at a quarter. Anybody else in on these? New York and Company, brand new on the card. Okay. Going once at a quarter. Going twice at a quarter. Going twice at a quarter. Where else can you buy a pair of brand new earrings for a quarter? Only at Cindy Loves Jewelry. Sold to Barbie. Sold to Barbie. Okay, I showed y'all this the other day. It's going to be, it's going to be a dropsy night. I got the dropsies. Okay, let's see how long we're looking at. Looking at right about 24 inches, guys. And this is that cute little butterfly. Oh, I'm sorry, DJ. I missed it. You may have a little bit of lag because you came in quite a bit behind the quarter. Okay, you guys may have some lag. If you are watching on your phone, you may want to make sure your red button that says live is, is clicked. So... Okay, because I mean, I done had time to get it wrote down and put pick something else up, so I'm afraid y'all have some lag. Okay, I will try to slow down. Okay, I'll try to slow down a little bit. So, okay, we have this cute little butterfly necklace, it is on a chain that is 24 inches long, it's super cute, and we're going to start this on a dollar auction start at a dollar guys one dollar isn't that cute we're getting coming back up on silver again <laughs> and uh, i had enough silver that i done several i would do more than one silver item at a time so we'll we'll probably have two silver items right in a row here in a minute so on some of them and some of them it was just me trying to Watch how I was counting. Watch what my count was. What I did. So this is 24 inches long. And you have this little pink enamel butterfly with rhinestones. Well, actually, it's black with cream enamel. And then you've got blue, green, and pink rhinestones in it. Really cute. The bid starts at a dollar. Let's 
the bid starts at a dollar. There we go. Nobody? One dollar on the little butterfly. Nobody? Okay, I'm going to pass on it. I'm not seeing any interest on the butterfly. Okay. Oh, there's DJ in with a dollar. Okay. DJ's in with a dollar. Anybody else want to go in on that? That's number seven. Butterfly necklace. Going once, I drop the go in twice. I drop the thing for it while I go. Final warning, final warning, and we're sold to Miss Debbie for a dollar. Thank you, Miss Debbie. So I told y'all I got in a bunch of stones today. Look here what I got in. Can you see him? I got in a pink turtle. He's pink. His stone is real. His, he's not silver or anything though. Number eight. Do you like hearts? I know Jude likes hearts. I have this little tack pen. It is a tack pen. Little heart. Pinky pink turtle, yeah. Got that. Facebook auction. Okay. So, here we go. Watch out. We have this little tack pin heart. And I'm going to combine. I had them separated, but I'm going to combine them, okay? I'm going to combine these this with that this little it's some kind of stone i don't know what it is i'm I, my goal this year is to buy me a presidium gem tester some kind of stone so we, you're going to have get these two pieces in this and we're going to start the bidding at two dollars two dollars okay two dollars you got the little heart pendant and the little heart pin. And the bid is $2. And that is a heart. So just kind of. $2. $2 my friends. This is number 8 and 9. Number 8 and 9. 8 and 9. $2. And I know it's hard to see that when I'm holding that like that. Tack pen. Two dollars is the starting bid on these. Two dollars. I got row in at two dollars. This is a cute little pendant. Real pretty. I like that. Row is in at two dollars. Anybody want to go up by at least a quarter? Eight, nine, going once at two dollars. Going one time at two dollars. Going twice at two dollars. Twice at two dollars. Twice at two dollars. Okay, guys, this is your final warning. Final warning.
and sold to Roberta for two dollars. Thank you, Sweet Row. Hearts. Those dollars, Roberta. Ro Roberta. Okay, these are sterling silver. And they do have a real pearl dingle dangle on them. And they are marked, but the mark is a little wonky, but it is marked. I can't tell anything about what the mark actually says, except for that it says. Nine two five. Not real sure what all it says, but they are marked, and they're real cute. They're little sterling silver, and both the the hooky and the and the little piece of metal is sterling. I didn't try to scratch the. <laughs> little head pin. I'll just tell you that. I did not even try to scratch it. And there we go. I got these in a lot that I bought from a girl on Texas Gal Treasures. And they have these little freshwater pearls. And they say uh, let's see how many things I can knock off tonight. Okay. Let's just count. So you put it in the tarnix real quick. See, I don't like bright silver. I don't, I don't like bright silver. We're going to start at $6 on these. They're really small. But uh, we're going to start at $6. Yep. Yeah. I like for my new silver to shine. But I want old silver. I want it to be tarnished. When it's old, there are some things that don't look right all shiny you know so and that's what i like to do is leave it up to whoever's buying it and let them clean it themselves if they want so these say dream on them earrings mm, 925 they were tested we have jewelry nursing at six. <laughs> oh my gosh that sounds like a Ken thing. And they are fish wire, hook, fish hook, whatever you want to call that. I call them fish hooks. Barbie calls them something else. Can't remember what she calls them. So $6, guys, is where we are. $6. And I turned the light back on. No, that's not what I want to do. If it's something that's older than 30 years, I want it to look older than 30 years. If it's, you know, like my my rings here, they're they're pretty bright. I keep, I mean, I wear them all the time, but these aren't silver. So we're going once at $6. Nobody else is bidding against Miss Cindy. We'll go once at $6. Going twice at $6. Final warning, final warning. And we're sold to Miss Cindy for $6. Thank you, Miss Cindy. Number 10A. This is another piece of silver. I did not shine this, guys. I did not shine this. For one thing, to me, it looks older. Let me tell you how big it is. It is a ring. It is a ring. It is a seven. It says mom on it. Has no stones. It is silver. I'll tell you what it says on the inset so you know what it says. I want to pick your reflection. Uh, it looks like good gravy. Turn my light down so low I can't see now. There, 
maybe that's where I saw it signed. It just says 925, and I don't see any name. Now, here we go. I got a Simply Shine cloth. It will shine up real nice, I'm sure. I could probably just dip it. Okay, yeah, it shines up. It starts shining up really nice. It does say 925, though, on it. It says Mom. Only I've got it upside down now. It said Wow. Mom. Focus. Focus. Mom. We're going to start this one at $10, guys. $10. What did I tell you? Size seven and a half. Ten dollars $10. Mom. Mom. Wow, that way. Mom. Mom, the other way. Got Michelle in it. $10. Michelle is in at $10. There you go. It's a really nice little mom's ring. Ten dollars to Michelle. It is Mark nine two five. Ten dollars. And anybody else coming in on this ring? Right to me. And it says mom that way too. We have ten dollars to Michelle. Is anybody else coming in on this ring? Ten it is sterling. Ten dollars. I tell you what, before I spilt it all, that's simply the simply shine silver cleaner, which is the same brand of those cloths that Miss Cindy used, is the best silver cleaner. But I spilled it all and now I've poured some other kind in there. It's not so great. So, we're going once at $10 to Michelle. One time at $10 to Michelle. You know what, Barbie? That's okay. People just got to learn to live by the rules and abide by the rules. Going twice at $10 to Michelle. Twice at $10 to Michelle. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Michelle Lawing for $10. Thank you, guys. I do want to show this right now. Again, if you missed, there is a video on my channel called Silent Auction. Where I'm offering this. James Avery butterfly necklace on the chain and it says Avery and Sterling on it and that is a, a starting bid on that auction of a hundred dollars you can leave your bids in the comments on that even though it was made longer than the 24 hours ago I put it back up because uh, I had been told that some of the links that I sent out did not work so okay guys here we go I have a 10 ring lot. I will promise you. Actually, there's more than 10 rings in this. I'll promise you that none of these are silver. Okay. None of these are silver. Flipping crazy took all your money. So this one is a stretch ring. There's a little bit of wear back here. Okay. I lift it up. You couldn't see the butterfly. I'm sorry. Here you go. There's the butterfly. I do have a beautiful James Avery ring that will be up later in the auction. 
but uh, that one I did just a pri I'm just doing just a single cell on it. So, okay, there is a little bit of wear on the back of this ring. You can see, but nobody sees the back. It's stretch. It's enamel, teal colored flowers with little blue rhinestones in them. That's ring number one. Now, these here are brand new. They're brand new. Actually, there's several. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rings on this little brand new strand of rings. And you've got copper. You've got a little silver band, silver tone band. You've got some little rhinestones, some little twist. Okay. See that? There you go. And it's still new. Still got part of its tag on it. That's ring number two. Uh, we're going to start this lot at $8, okay? $8, guys. This one here is a little pinky ring. It is adjustable. Nothing special. Nothing fancy. Just a little adjusty ring, adjustable ring. That's number three. This one here is another new one. <laughs> and he's really different. <laughs> it's a size 7, okay? Size 7. And it is a lizard. It's a lizard. And he wraps all the way around. At least that's what I think he is, is a lizard. He wraps all the way around. He's either a lizard or a grasshopper. But I think he's a lizard. Anyway. And he's a size 7. He still has his tags on him. Definitely different. An alien of some kind. So that's one, two, three, four. This one here has wear on the sides of it, okay? I'll just tell you that right now. It has some wear. But it's a really pretty ring and it just got thrown in there. It's about a size seven. Uh, it got thrown in there. I didn't realize I had put it in there. That's kind of a bonus kind of thing. So... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's that is a bonus one because there's eleven here. <laughs> so, okay, here's this little gold tone ring that is like in a little initial ring you can have engraved and put your little initial on it, and it doesn't say anything in it. I don't believe it's a xenomorph. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Anyway, he's new with his little tags on him. Okay. So, he makes number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one is gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous. And it doesn't say anything in it, but it looks brand new. It has no wear on it. And it's small. It It's like a size 6. Yep. It's a size 6. I could wear it on this finger. Let me take off. And you could wear this. Hold on. Take off my wide wedding band. You can't hear me. La, la, la. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? It is a size 6. It is a gorgeous ring. But it's like new. Okay. See? No wear on it at all. It looks like new. Okay. That's number 7. This one here is the same. Only it's even smaller than a 6. Because I can't get it on my wedding band finger it is a it is right at a five look here there we go isn't that pretty size five so there's going to be 11 rings in this and most of them let's make sure i don't put my wedding rings in there most of them you could easily sell for more than a dollar so you've got this little thing. 
That one there is a little bitty one. That's nine. I love this one. I almost kept this one. It looks like adventuring to me. Nine. This is number ten. Number ten. It doesn't say anything in it. It looks brand new. It has hardly no wear on it. I don't even see any wear on it. It's number ten. And then number eleven is a little silver band. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't put in something that I didn't need to put in. Nope. There's no writing in it. It's a little rough on the inside. But it's about a size, probably about a size 8. Silver band. Oh. It's right at a, a 9. 9. And so there's 11 rings, and the starting bid was $8, guys. $8 on all 11 rings. And actually, there's 11, but I counted this one that has six as one ring. <laughs> so technically, there is uh, 10 plus 16 rings. There are 16 total rings in this at $8. But you got some gorgeous Gorgeous, gorgeous rings. You got Judy Daly in at $8. This one here is the only one that's just not really, really nice. It's got a lot of wear on it, but I love this ring. Got this little silver band. He is not magnetic, but I tested him, and he is not silver. I'll tell you that much right now. I did test him. So, then you got that brand new alien ring, whatever he is. He's weird. And then this little bitty dibby one. So, Judy's back at $10. Judy's back at $10. This is lot number, number 11. This is a ring lot. Jewelry nurse is in at $12. Look. Hi, Elizabeth K. Judy Daly's in at 14. Judy Daly is in at 14. There is 16 rings in this, guys. 16 rings. Remember, if you've never registered with me to shop, make sure you register. Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. Just send all the regular stuff. But make sure you send where you live so I'll know how to figure your postage. I charge actual shipping, um, but most of it all starts at $4 because anymore it's hard to get anything sent much cheaper. <laughs> so, with the. Well, there is. Okay. Uh, Lisa, there is 11 rings, but I counted this, this strand, this brand new thing that has six rings in it. I counted it as one. So there's 10 rings and then I counted this one as one, but it actually has six rings on it. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how to count. <laughs> I went to school in Arkansas. <laughs> So, Miss Jewelry Nurse says she is out. We have Judy Daly at $14 going one time. Judy Daly at $14 going twice. Oops, Flipping Crazy's in at $15. Flipping Crazy Lisa is in at $15. $15. I have a sore ear. Judy's back at $16. Judy is back at $16. See, this one right here, public school, I guess. Yeah, I went to public school. I promise you that. 17. This one right here looks like adventuring to me. It is not. It's probably stainless steel, but that is so pretty. And it fits on my pointy finger. And I thought, I really should keep that. But since I just 
cleaned out five rings out of my jewelry box. I thought I might ought to let it go. So, 18. Because I still have lots of rings. I still have about 90. So, anyway. Yeah, I have a problem. I have a problem. And Lisa is out. We're going once now at $18. Going twice at $18. Final warning, final warning. And we are sold this time to Miss Judy Daly again for $18. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Kathleen, darling, how are you feeling? You can't count either. So, oh, I can count. Actually, I was very good in math, and I can do math in my head real well. It's just I count on the, on the side of, of error <laughs> i like to give you a bargain for your monies okay i showed y'all this the other day when i got it in i showed it to you like i said when i got it in somebody repaired this part right here because the pin is is silver and all of the rest of it's gold tone back here but it works just fine and it makes it a wearable brooch you have a mother of pearl butterfly and his little his little antennae are crooky there we go his little antennae are crooky so there you go he's mother of pearl <laughs> and it looks like somebody's just added some beads to make his eyes I probably would pop those beads out and put some rhinestones in there, making some real pretty eyes. Anyway, let's do a quarter auction on this little guy. Start at a quarter. Start at a quarter on him. He's cute. Start at a quarter. On the little pin. Got jewelry nurse in at a quarter. Jewelry nurse is in at a quarter on him. Barbie came back at 50 cents. Jewelry nurse jumped to a dollar. You okay, Davey? Yeah. You're making an awful lot of whining noises. <laughs> Sounded like whining to me. No, nope, it's Okay. We're at a dollar with Miss Jewelry Nurse. You done, Barbie? Mm -hmm. Bobby, Bobby, are you done? Barbie's at a dollar twenty-five. Barbie, Barbie's at a dollar twenty-five. Kathleen, oh, KK, you're calling her. It's like, KK. <laughs> Cheryl is in at $2. Cheryl Siver is in at $2. I've got Cheryl in at $2. Cheryl is in at $2. Barbie says she's out. What is Susan saying? Because his pen is straight. How do I know it's a him? Because this pen is straight. Hmm. That works for me. <laughs> that works for me, Susan Gill. So, anyway, we have Cheryl at $2. Are you done, Miss Cindy? <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, just popped in your head. Uh, MOP, Mother of Pearl, Butterfly Brooch. Making sure what Miss Cindy says, if she's done or not. We're going once. Is that Mother of Pearl or Silver Tone? It's Mother of Pearl. Nope, it's Mother of Pearl. It is Shell. Hold on. There you go. It is Shell. And he's got little gold antennae. But it is 
it is mother of pearl. Yeah. It's a mother of pearl. There you go. Miss Cindy is in at three dollars. Just remember what I said about the eyes. Somebody put little beads in there. Cheryl's in at four. I personally think the beads in there are not pretty. I would take them out and put some rhinestones in there and become real pretty because I like bling. Miss Jewelry Nurse is in at six. Jewelry Nurse is in at six. Setting the coffee pot up for tomorrow. Cheryl is out. We're going once at six dollars. One time at six dollars. We are going twice at six dollars. My hand itches. This is our final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for six dollars to Cindy Jewelry Nurse. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, some AB stones. Ooh, that would be real pretty. So I have this little bracelet. And y'all know it will fit me, so I have a big, fat wrist, but it does fit me. It's little apples. It's little circles with little apples on it. And they look like they're done in enamel. <laughs> that sword there made that look really gross. Sorry. I have such thin skin. Just, just. These marks like this that you see on me from the most part are from my purse. Me carrying my purse. So, anyway. So, here's what we're looking at. Little apple bracelet. And, um, let's do this one uh, as a quarter auction too. We'll start it at a quarter and go from there. Start at a quarter. Start at a quarter and go up from there. Get on the ruler and tell you exactly how long it is. Telling you how much it will go. Okay, Ro. How much it will fit me. It goes up to eight inches, guys. Nope. Seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters. Got Cheryl in at a quarter. Cheryl is in at a quarter. Anybody else want to come in on this? This is number 13, 14. We're getting close to our first giveaway, guys. Thank you, all 37 of you, for being here. Going what? at a quarter we're going twice at a quarter this is your final warning final warning and we're sold for a quarter to Cheryl Sauber thank you Cheryl Apple bracelet that's cute There's my favorite ink pen. Okay. Now this is not signed. Jude is back. Welcome 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 back. Okay. Clamper bracelet. It fits me. I wouldn't wear it because it wouldn't be comfortable. But the way it joins, it makes me think of that Jane Seymour necklace that she sells. But there are no markings on this at all. But it is so pretty. I will tell you how wide it is across here. It is. It says it is two and a half inches across. Okay. And we're going to start the bidding on this at $4. Really cute. 
hold on let me make sure this is not i think this is i think i got okay Okay, there's a mark right here. I want you to see there's a little mark right there. And can't tell if it's a piece of a marker or if it's, well, barely see it now. Anyway, but we'll start it at $3 since it had that little mark on it. So $3, guys. It is so pretty. three dollars i love it if it had been just a little bit bigger where i could have worn it over although i don't wear bracelets on this wrist i don't wear them on this wrist at all because i don't want to cover up my tattoo so There we go. So anybody, three dollars on that. It's so pretty. I didn't know there were rules for clad all rings, but I don't have a clad all ring or however you say it, clad all, clad all. Nobody. Three dollars. Three dollars is where we're starting at. Never heard of widow rings, of widow rules. So it is textured on the inside of it. Very nice piece of jewelry. Okay. I'm not seeing any interest, so I'm going to pass. We are back to another piece of sterling. Okay. I did test both the chain, the links the uh the fastener <laughs> talk to yourself cindy and the little thing on my bob and it is marked yeah okay here we go not sure it's going to show up but i'm going to show it if you see down there at the bottom it says sterling i just saw it sterling there you go sterling up here on the little thing right here, it says I never seen. Okay, I've never seen anything say that. It says Sterling on it too, so it is older. Of course, I turned it over. It says, "Auto made, auto made sterling, auto made, like car, a u t, auto made." And then it says, "Sterling on the spring clasp." Okay. So I tested all of it. It is a, it is a shorty. It is a shorty. It's uh, 15 inches, about 15. And a half inches long. It is a little rhinestone heart necklace. A rhinestone heart. Has a spring clasp. And has this. Um, I don't know what you call this. I just call it a plain chain. There you go. Well, sterling. And we're going to start this at. Uh, we're going to start this at $8 guys. This is number 15A. 15A. $8, guys. $8 on the sterling silver heart necklace. there isn't that pretty well you just call that chain it's just a chain got jewelry nurse in at eight 
Miss Jewelry Nurse, what do you call that chain? Dizzy, you need to. Dizzy's in at eight fifty. There we go. The stones are not open to the back, so they're probably just rhinestones or CZs. Quit swinging. You make me. You make me dizzy when you when you swing, little pendant. There you go. Have Dizzy Angie in at 8.50. 8.50 to Dizzy Angie. Uh, jewelry Nurse jumped to 10. Dizzy Angie's up to 10.50. Hmm, does that auto made mean something I don't know? <laughs> After this one, we're going to do a uh, giveaway. 1050. There you go. Okay. See the chain? Just I just call it a plain chain. It is 15 and a half inches long. It's marked sterling on the back. Sterling, not 925. It's marked sterling on the little tag. It says auto made sterling. And then on the jump ring, it's, I mean, on the spring ring, it also says sterling. So, and it is 15 and a half inches long. And I was just wondering what kind of chain it is. I always call these just a plain chain. I don't know. They're just a, it's just a chain. So, I don't know chains very well. Yes, those are, it probably CZs would be my guess. But they're not open to the back, so. Rhinestones, yeah, probably. Rhinestones are CZs. They're not open to the back at all. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like little round links, kind of oval. Rolo chain, 11 to Miss Jewelry Nurse. $11 to Miss Jewelry Nurse. Dizzy's out. We're going once at $11, guys. Once at $11. Twice at $11. Rolo chain. Okay. Final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for $11 to Jewelry Nurse. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Jewelry Nurse. We're bidding. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's do our first giveaway. Giveaway. Uh, Cindy, it always helps if you start typing in the prompter. Okay. Giveaway. One. Pick a number, one to 50, and start. Pick one number, one number only. If you see that somebody above you has the same number, you're allowed to change it once. This giveaway is not connected to YouTube in any way. Uh, what we will be doing in this first giveaway is we will give away a choice of jewelry. And we will also give away $2 off your total. If you do not buy anything, you will get... Uh, you're okay, Debbie. You will... Uh, get a two dollar paypal credit i'm sorry uh, i have six pieces of jewelry for you to choose from i'm going to show you those to you quickly okay because while y'all are picking numbers i need to run visit the little girls room we have a brand new pair of inc great big hoops we have this bracelet that i thought was chalcedony but i've decided it might be plastic <laughs> with the uh that we have a really pretty faux pearl necklace. Faux pearl. That is knotted in between it with a barrel clasp. Screw on barrel clasp. We have a really nice 
statement, what I call a statement cha-cha necklace. We have a nice little corded stone necklace. And I will send this to you on my dime. If you don't have, you are not required to buy anything. No purchase is necessary. You do not have to lock Cal Sydney, Cal Sydney, Cal Sydney. There we go. I always call it Calcedony because that's how it's spelled. But Cal Sydney, okay. That little, I don't know what that is. And then a pair, brand new, another brand new pair of earrings that say Wildcat that are clipped. Okay. I will be right back. I have to run to the little girl room. You want to jump up here and talk to them? Yeah. Uh Having a snack? You decide you like those after all? No, not, terribly good. not terribly good, but you're willing to eat them, huh? Okay. Everybody got their numbers? Okay. Everybody got a number in. Get your numbers in. I see 37 people here. So I need to. Let's see. That one goes back in there. Need to put these back in their thing so that when I offer them here in a minute, they'll be. Hey, Olga, I see you come in. Did you enter a number in, sweetie? Tammy, hi, Tammy. Okay, everybody got a number in because I'm fixing the call. Stop. Let's get our numbers in. Okay. And stop. I do want to remind you that all of the uh, rules for my giveaways are in the description. Okay? In the description box below this video. So, you can see it there. So, let's just scroll up. Giveaway A. The number is number 50. 50. Giveaway A is number 50. 50. And it is a choice of jewelry. So, let's scroll up. Tammy has 42. That's 8 away. Let's see up here. Uh, Clarissa is at 48. That's only 2 away. Uh, Susan Gill is at 35. Here we go. 35, 19, 22. It looks like Clarissa is the closest at 48. Is that what y'all see? So, Clarissa, these earrings are number four. They say Wildcat on them. They are a clip-on earring. The red cha-cha necklace statement is number two. The INC. New earrings are number three. 
They're originally $22.50, marked down to $5. Uh, I think I bought them at a, in a lot. The Cal Sydney looking bracelet is number six. Hot at the um, faux pearls with the barrel clasp is number five. And this one here is number one, the little brown stone. So, Clarissa, you get to pick one, two, three, four, five, or six. Clarissa is the winner here. Give away A. Clarissa Dazon. And let's see what she picked. Number one for you. Okay, number one. Gotcha. And staple to that and write your name on this. Clarissa does on. Thank you, ma'am. And giveaway B is two dollars off. Two dollars off, and the number on it is number two. Number two. So let's go up here and see who number two is. Number two, I see Moonstone Mom is at number one. Moonstone Mamas is at number one. And Kathleen Merton is at number three. Those are both one away, but Moonstone Mamas, Jamie is in first. Jamie, you win $2 off. If you don't buy anything, I'll send you the money via PayPal, minus $2. That is Jamers, right, Jamie? That is you, Jamers. Jamie Moon. Jamie Moonstone. Jamie, Jamie. Jamie Moonstone. There we go. Okay, is that what y'all saw too? Oh, well, you know, I got, I got, uh, I have more giveaways coming up. So, I have four more giveaways coming up. So, we do them, I do them two at a time. So, here we go. Congratulations, everybody. Okay. Number 15. That We done 15A a while ago. This is 15. I showed y'all this the other day when I was doing a haul. Well, seven was close. Uh, pretty close. But close only counts in horseshoes and what else is it? Horseshoes and something. I can't remember. There's another one. They say close only counts in. Okay. This is a cute little necklace. It's got multi-layer chains. It's got these, all these little disky things on it. Uh, yeah. It's the shortest layer is the shortest layer is 15, no, 16 inches with a Three and a half inch extender. Now this has, let's see, let me make sure. Yeah. Oh wait, it may have some writing on it. Does it have writing on it? No, no writing. It does have a hang, hang thing, hang thing. Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. There you go. Okay. Uh, we're going to start bidding on this at $3, guys. It's really cute. $3. Very weighty. Very nice. $3. We have more silver coming up. We have a Belrus watch. B-E-L-R-U-S watch. And it is, if I remember, it is a wind-up watch. This is number 15. We have Debbie Vital in at uh, $3. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Silver Tone 
disc necklace. Multi-layer silver tone disc necklace. Hold on just a second. There we go. I don't think it's laying backwards. I just think that the, hold on. I just think there, that's what it, see those, those little gold tone and it is multicolored. Those little gold tone have rhinestones on it, but I don't think I had it hanging backwards as much as it just, they just turn. So you got little chain things. Yeah. Yeah. It's very multi-layered. So I may have had it hanging backwards too, though. So y'all know me, I do everything bass backwards. There we go. It's really pretty. Debbie is in at three. Anybody else coming in? Going one time at three dollars, guys. One time at three dollars. Going twice at three dollars. Twice at three dollars. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for three dollars too, Debbie Vital. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you, thank you. Okay, number 16 is Sterling Silver. I just want to explain. Okay, Cindy Jewelry Nurse had one of these in her auction uh, Saturday night. And this is, this is so crazy. Okay, this chain is marked 925. The chain tested is 925. This tested is 925. This tested is 925. This tested is 925. This little thing on top of the baby's head tested as 925 and it's marked 925 in it. Baby's legs did not test as 925. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so you have a 925 chain with a 925 hooky thing. His little arms and legs did not test 925. Or I did not scratch them well enough, but that's what I wrote on here. Baby body, oh, yeah, no, the body part, this part here was 925, but his little body part also did not, no, I couldn't get him rubbed, yeah, no, I got him rubbed on the back, 925, his little body part didn't test as, as a 925 neither, but everything else is 925 on him, so we're going to start him at $6, $6. No, Cindy's, in Cindy's auction Saturday night. Cindy's auction is who had it. Olga is in at six. He's a little boy, little blue boy sterling necklace. So Olga was in with her six dollars first. Miss Debbie, you have to go up at least a quarter. Oh, uh, I was hoping Glenna Harris would be here tonight. There's Miss Angela Irene. Glenna loves crosses. I know that Michelle loves crosses too, but I was really hoping that uh, Glenna would be here because uh, uh, I, I found a really pretty cross. So Eight to Olga. Eight to Olga. Guys, I know that some of y'all, huh, it's blue. <laughs> I have no idea what the stone is. It's just a, a bright blue stone. I don't know what that is. I don't even know what birthstone. What was funny is, uh, Jewelry Nurse, you had one that was a little boy that had the same color blue. What color blue do you think that is? What, what month do you think that is? You're out to Olga. We're going one time to Olga at $8. One time to Olga at, at, at $8. 
I don't know what month stone it is. Do not know. December or March. Going twice at eight dollars. Twice at eight dollars. March. March. It's March. Twice at eight dollars. I don't have no March people. Not not in my immediate. We're June, July, and August. Michelle is in at nine. Michelle is in at nine. Nine dollars to Miss Michelle. All three of your boys are in are in March. March. Aquamarine, yeah. March. Do you want to withdraw your bid? You can withdraw your bid if you want. If you thought it was December and you needed March, you can withdraw your bid, Michelle. Just let me know. One of your boys, December is Blue Topaz. Okay. We're going, Olga, are you done? Let me know. It is December. What's September? September is dark blue. It's um, sapphire. Sapphire. Nope. Nope. It's real bright blue. This is not, definitely not sapphire. Definitely not sapphire. Nope. This is either aquamarine or December, whatever that one is for December. But September is uh, sapphire. December is blue topaz. Yep. Anyway, so September is deep sapphire. Any color sapphire is a blue sapphire. My mother-in-law's birthday is in September, and so her we always put sapphires in hers for her for the birthdays. So, okay, we're at nine dollars with Miss Michelle. Is Miss Olga finished? If we're finished, we'll call this. Going once at $9 to Michelle. One time at $9 to Michelle. Ed with Sapphire. Going twice. Twice at $9. Watching to make sure, see if Olga says she's done or not. Olga, are you done? Olga is out to Michelle. There we go. His leg is not broke. It just bends. Nine dollars twice final warning final warning and we're sold for nine dollars to Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Nine dollars. Michelle Lyon. Okay. Okay, guys, we have a Belarus B E L R U S watch. Okay, I'm gonna read you what it says on the back of it. It says that it is 10 carat rolled gold plated bezel, stainless steel back, and then it says 631695 on the back of it, okay? It is on a stretchy band like this, a stretchy band. Okay, the back part of it stretches, this front is stationary, okay? And it is bell... And I just said it a while ago at 947, and now it is at 951, just, I mean, 751, 947, 747, and is now at, oh, does that say Benrus? Benrus, B-E-N-R-U-S, Benrus. And it has, okay, Benrus, sorry, I was saying Belrus. Benrus. Oh, no. Benrus. There you go. It winds up. It is running. Very nice watch. It is vintage. Stretch band. If I wanted to wear it, I could wear it. But I don't wear band watches. I carry a phone. 
like everybody else. But a lot of people like vintage watches. And I want to see. Okay. It's got a wave in it here around the bezel. And that's just part of the design. So I could see it as I was putting it on. Okay. So this Ben Russ watch. I'm going to start this at $10, guys. $10. I looked this up. The prices on these go pretty good. Congratulations, Miss uh, Debbie, on your new grandbaby. Welcome, Kathy, to my auction. See you in a little while, Michelle. I'll be here a while. You know that. So we have this Ben Rest watch. $10 is the starting point. It is gold filled on the bezel. Stainless steel back. It is carbon. Focus. Focus. Oh, my God. It was really focused pretty. Okay, come on. Focus. There you go. And it has white and pink stones around it. We have Dizzy Angie in at $10. Dizzy Angie is in at 10 Cut my fingernails. Judah's in at 11. Really pretty. And it is keeping time. You can see it's now 7.53 my time. Only actually I think I set it for 8.53. 11.50 to Miss Dizzy. Ben Russ. B-E-N-R-U-S. There you go. B-E-N-R-U-S. Ben Russ. Jude is in at 12. This is lot number 17. Ben Russ. Watch. 12 dollars to Jude. 12 dollars to Jude. 1225 to Dizzy. 13 dollars to Jude. We're at 13 dollars to Miss Jude. Thirteen dollars to Miss Jude. Thirteen twenty-five to Dizzy. This one is gold, rolled gold plating around the bezel. It says on the back that it's rolled gold plating on the bezel, gold plated on the bezel. Fourteen dollars to Jude. I can tell you what carrot it said it was. 10 carat. 10 carat. Road gold plating bezel. Stainless steel back. Dizzy is out. Jude is at $14. Are you in or out, Miss Vita? Vita Vita. $14 going once. Beta Beta. Beetle, my friend. My friend Beetle. We're going twice at $14. Vita is out. Twice at $14. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold to Miss Jude for $14. Thank you, Jude. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, jewelry nurse. I said sold before I saw it. I was watching for those. I am so sorry. There we go. I am so, so sorry. I was watching for outs. And I turned my head and wrote it down and come back and saw you. Sorry. I had, where did it go? I know I had it today. You know, you ever just go, oh, I had that just today. What did I do with it? Or maybe you guys are real organized and don't live in the kind of mess I live here where I got everything going every which way. So, okay. I have this little heart. 
Yeah, I have this little heart right here, and it just beats and flip-flops around. It don't flip-flop anymore, though. It quit flip-flopping. Anyway, I'm sorry, Cindy. <laughs> so, anyway, I had this little cross. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm just losing my mind. I guess you have to have a mind to lose it, don't you? Anyway, I have this little cross. It's really pretty. It's really blingy. And uh, we're going to start this as a quarter auction, guys, a quarter auction. It is two inches long, two inches long. PM. No. No, that's okay. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to find a little something to hang it on so I can show it to y'all. And I'm not seeing nothing. I don't see nothing. Anyway, we've got Vita in first, Clarissa. You'll have to go. Yeah, you'll have to go uh, up if you want to. No, uh, once the auction's done, I like to be done. I don't like to open them back up. So thank you for offering, Miss Jude. But and Miss Cindy said it was okay. So I tried to. Uh, there we go. I tried to. Uh, Try to watch carefully, but sometimes I just miss it. You know, it's, and I know a lot of it has to do with different, everybody's different speeds and all that. So, isn't that pretty? That's one of the prettiest little crosses I've ever seen. So. Fifty cents to Miss Clarissa. That did have somewhere on it. 50 cents to Miss Clarissa. Oh, Jude says, she says, she says, don't worry, Jude. Miss Cindy, she knows. She knows how it happens. Oops, that don't sit up high enough. I'm sorry. I thought it would sit up high enough. Y'all could see it. There we go. Yep. Yeah. I can deal with YouTube better than I can with uh, um, Facebook auctions, though. Shoot. Cindy, you just drop. <laughs> Clarissa's up at a dollar. Vita's at a dollar and a quarter. And y'all know that Vita has a wicked sense of humor, and she just says, she's like kind of like me. She just says whatever pops in her head. Oh, I have something I want to show Cindy Jewelry Nutters, too. Not, uh, hey Josie, how are you, sweetie? Not, they're not for sale, Cindy, but you saying that you collected these made me think I need to show these to her because uh, these are something that I collect too and keep. So, ooh, you're doing good, Cindy. Let's see how much stuff this of this stuff you can throw in the floor, girlfriend. Keep it up. You're doing good. You're doing good. We're at a dollar fifty. A dollar from this beautiful cross pendant. A dollar fifty. This is what we're bidding on. Quarter auction started. A dollar fifty. I need a taller thing, but I have all my tall things all involved. So, Miss Cindy, you was talking about you collect micro mosaics. Um, Vita's out. Josie's in it, too. <laughs> Look at that little micro mosaic I found last week or week before last, actually, in a lot. Let's see if I can get it to focus in and show you. Look at it. My little ditar. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Little big ditar. 
225. We're at 225. A yellow micro mosaic flower. And I have about four more in my in my room. They're all just like this. And then a little red one. Just the little round ones. If I ever decide to sell it, okay, I'll I'll keep you in mind on my little guitar. I never found one that was a shape like that. So we have Josie in at three. Josie is in at three. It is so pretty. Clarissa is out. Aren't those cool, Carolyn? We're going once at three dollars to Miss Josie. Yeah. <laughs> That is number 18. I picked up its bag and put it, wadded it up with my other empty bags. Going twice at $3. Twice at $3. Okay. Here we go. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Hi, Susan Ironside. Twice at $3. Final call. Final call. And we are out. We are out. We are sold to Miss Josie for $3. Thank you, Miss Josie. Number 18, cross pendant. $3, Josie. There we go. Okay, guys. I have a lot. I have a bag. Let's see if I will start it at $4. This is just beads, okay? Just beads. And they're all plastic beads. So, yeah, $4. We have this faux pearl, gray faux pearl bracelet. Most of you have seen these. I showed them in a haul. We have these uh, gray and brown four strand beads. We have this really pretty. Let me see where it's connected. Here it is. This really pretty four-strand brown with the different color beads in it. $4 is the starting bid on this. Lot. That's three items there. Okay. We have these totally plastic. And I will just show you that that top bead has lost some color up here. This one, This one here. Has lost some of his paint on him. So. But these are all multi-strand. See this was two, four, six strands. Of little. Turquoise colored beads. But they are plastic. All of these are plastic. These here are. Multi-strand again. One, two, three. Brown and gold. Brown and gold. And then these here are really nice black ones. Vintage. So you get one, two, three, four, five necklaces and a bracelet. For Start at $4, guys. Susan is being good tonight. She's sitting on those hands and okay, four dollars. Anybody? You got what I say? Five strands of necklaces and and uh, a, then a bracelet. Six items at four dollars. That's less than a dollar an item. Nobody interested? Give me a pass. Yep. Nobody's interested. We'll pass. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, Susan Ironside is in four. Susan Ironside is in at four. We're going once at four dollars. This is number 19. Bead lot. Going twice at four dollars. Twice at four dollars. 
And final warning. And sold to Susan Ironside for $4. Thank you, Susan Ironside. Susan Ironside. There we go. Okay, sterling silver again. <laughs> sterling silver. You're welcome, hon. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. This is somebody's signature. I do not know whose signature this is. It is a signed piece. It says... It says, Sterling. It looks like it says Sterling 8 on it. Um, usually, I know signatures pretty well. I don't know what this is. It looks like a D, but it also looks like there's something on the D before it. So, I don't know. So you have one, two, three strands of sterling silver chain with a clasp like this, a little box clasp, okay? And it looks like it originally might have had a gold wash on it, and uh, maybe some of it is wearing away. And I have found that when you find things that have a gold wash on them and they're starting to wear away, if you clean them good with silver cleaner like a liquid silver cleaner it will wash away the rest of your verme that has started because uh, not verme it won't wash away verme it will wash away gold wash because a lot of a lot of companies use a gold wash on some of that sterling and it's not really like verme it's just a gold wash but uh, uh, i found but it looks like they're they're colored to be a gold tone with a silver tone in between it you're looking at, oh, I was going to measure how long it was. Duh, Russ. Cindy, Cindy Lou Bob. Your shortest one is 15 inches. Your longest one is 16 and a half. So it's graduated lengths. It is sterling. It is vintage. And it is cool. And we're going to start it at $10, guys. $10 sterling silver. Three chains start at ten dollars. And I totally, you know, I wouldn't I mean, you're getting a bargain having three chains. If you wanted literally if you wanted to turn them into just chains, it would be easy. All you would have to do is add a catch. Because they've got jump rings on the end. You just have to add a catch, a lobster claw, a spring ring, some kind of catch. And you could make three sterling silver chains out of it. We've got Cheryl Cyber in at ten dollars. Do not know who that what that D is, if it was somebody's initial or if it is actual maker's mark. We have Cheryl Cyber in at ten. This is sterling silver. Next up is some Hobe. A really pretty. This is uh Jewelry Nurse was first at 11. Now Diz is in at 12. I want something snacky. I'm out of my little oranges. I need some little mandarin oranges. Some cuties. I haven't been to Big Town in a while. And everybody always says, what are you talking about when you talk about Big Town? That's going to Fort Smith. That's the Big Town. The closest Big Town to me that I go shop at. Where they have everything. All these Walmart. Well, I don't go to Walmart. We have Walmart here. But, uh, uh, yeah. We have Diz in at 14. Miss Jewelry Nurse says she is out. This is lot number 20. 20. A. 20 A. Uh, triple strand. So the sterling. Necklace. Cheryl is at 15. Dizzy is at 15.50. These Hobe earrings, if they had been rhinestone Hobe's, they would never made it, but they're not. They're an enamel looking Hobe. 16, 16.50.
I have Joe Maz. That's a nice vintage brand. I have a Sterling Silver Moonstone necklace. We're at $17. I have the James Avery Sterling ring. Yeah, we have a lot. We're at eighteen dollars. Um, I lived in Fort Smith. Uh, I went to college. Well, I went to radio X-ray school, radiologic technology school. Uh, in Fort Smith and I lived in Fort Smith for a little while and then I moved on to one of the little towns on the outer edges uh, Fort Smith I enjoy going there but I wouldn't want to shop there I mean I, I enjoy shopping there but I wouldn't want to live there but so it's changed a lot over the years $20 Cheryl's out Miss J Jewelry Nurse is out we're going once at $20 to do the Angie Twice at twenty dollars to do the Angie. This is your final warning. Final warning. Final warning. I'm looking at my phone over here because my phone picks y'all up quicker than my computer does. And we're sold to Dizzy Angie for twenty dollars. Thank you, Diz. And get the air out of that. Can I get the air out of that? Get the air out of that, Cindy. I got air in the bag. This is not one of the syllable kinds. There we go. A mail town. It's a town of a lot of history. It is a town of a lot of history. Uh, if you don't know, it's the Hanging Judge town. If you've never heard of the Hanging Judge, Judge Roy Bean, it's the town where he held court. Uh, now due to COVID this place just closed down but they used to have a place down on the river that was an old <laughs> uh, and I, I say this it was an old whorehouse and they turned it into a restaurant and the girls all wore old saloon costumes and pantaloons and uh, they were a, uh, they specialized in sandwiches it was a good, good, but COVID closed it down. Oh, the C word closed it down. I'm not supposed to say that C word, am I? Okay, I have two bracelets here. You have one that is enamel that has what looks like to be the Tory Burch symbol. It is not Tory Burch. I, I guarantee you it's not Tory Burch. I would say it's a knockoff. I don't know, but it looks like the Tory Burch. I can get it over my hand, and then I have another gold one that I put with it that if I was wearing a bangle like it, I would match it up with it. Let us start this at a dollar. Let's start the bid at a dollar. So, at a dollar. Start at a dollar. Clarissa is in at a dollar. Because the reason that I say I don't think it's Tory Burch is it just feels really, really flimsy. That looks like the Tory Burch symbol, but it just feels too flimsy to really be Tory Burch to me. So, but anyway, but I mean, I don't know a lot about Tory Burch. I do, what I do know about Tory Burch is what I had. I, I've, I've found shoes that I sold on Posh that were Tory Burch, a couple of pairs. So when I first started it. But I don't know much about her jewelry. So we've got Clarissa in at. How did I manage that? Okay. Hmm. Clarissa is in at. Okay. Is in at a dollar. Bracelets. One dollar. Going once. One dollar going twice. 
One dollar going twice. Final warning. Final warning. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sold to Clarissa for a dollar. Thank you, Clarissa. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I don't think I don't think Mary Pelletier is here. She's my rhinestone lady. But guys, I thought this would be really cool. <coughs> I just threw this one in because it was rhinestones. It's the same kind. But I thought these would be really cool to wear like this. So you've got three blacks and then these almost aquamarine blues. And uh, I just thought that would be real cool like that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six rhinestone bracelets. We'll start the bidding on these at $2. Okay, start the bidding on these at $2. And if you do vintage repair, these kind of bracelets are great to harvest your rhinestones out of. But anyway, but yeah, like that. So this one is like an ice blue. And then the black and the, the there's three black and two of the other blues. So start at $2. Vita's in it too. Vita is in it too. And I have your shouldn't got fish too, Vita. <laughs> uh well, okay. The fort when when the hanging judge was in, it was it was an actual fort. It's Fort Smith. It was an actual fort. And uh they had a lot of whorehouses and saloons and stuff and yeah Robert, Fort Smith was a pretty rough town Fort Smith is where uh, the little girl traveled to to hire, hire judge uh, to hire uh, look, uh, to hire John Wayne in True Grit she wanted to hire Rooster Cogburn in True Grit that's where she traveled to from uh Yale County near Dardanelle, Arkansas. So, so, uh, the actually, uh, okay. No, it's not the name of the restaurant. The name of the restaurant was, um, can't remember what the name of the restaurant was. Can't remember what it was. Anyway, but, uh, uh but yeah, it was a rough town way back in the day. <laughs> so, way, way back in the day. And see, one thing a lot of people do, do not realize is Fort Smith, right on the edge of Fort Smith, well, you run out of Fort Smith into a little town called Barling, and then right on the edge of Barling is um, Fort Chaffee, which is an actual army training camp. And so during the summer, all, this, all the uh, uh, soldiers come in, and um, they're all there during the summer doing maneuvers and training, all the uh, all of that. And so, <laughs> when I can tell this story because my friend has passed on. When I first moved to Fort Smith, uh, when I first moved to Fort Smith, I lived with an older roommate. She was a girl that grew up in the same church. Her, she went to the same church. She lived in the same town I did. And I lived there, and she was um, in in dating mail. Of course, you didn't have computer, but you, well, you had computers, but you didn't have the internet and all that. But she done dating clubs, and so she would get phone calls and stuff. Well, she got engaged, and I only lived with her like two, three months, and then she moved home to plan a wedding. Well, I kept her phone number. And so all these people that would be, all these guys that would be calling her for the dating thing, I would say, oh, she doesn't live here anymore. And so then they'd want to talk to me. 
and they would really hound me, like really, really hound me. <laughs> and, and, and the funny thing was, one of them just kept on and finally, I, I figured out how to uh, get him to quit calling me. <laughs> I told him how old I was. <laughs> I said, you do realize that you just keep on bothering me after I told you not to. I'm only 17 years old. He never called me again. <laughs> anyway, and I was only 17. I left home when I was 17. So I, I lived on my own from uh, May until August before I turned 17, 18. But uh, uh, yeah, 17, I left home. So he ain't called the jailbait no more. So anyway, Vita's at two. We're going what? Don't I, haven't I lived such, well, my life is not as interesting in, as Barbie's, but I don't walk in on yard sales on, on people's, I don't fall in their doors, and, uh, anyway, so, <laughs> this is number 22, guys, uh, rhinestones, Vita going once, rhinestones, Vita going twice, at $2, Final warning, final warning, and sold to Vita. So, anyway, but uh, one of the things that Camp Chappy was used for is uh, one of the, and then they rested on their couch. That Camp Chappy is known for is. When all of the Vietnamese refugees came to the state, they housed a lot of them there. And so while I was in x-ray school, we would do a lot of chest x-rays because they had to pass a physical before they were allowed to move out into the community as, you know, uh, they had to stay at, the, at Chaffee until they were allowed to, to pass a physical. And so we would do a lot of them, and a lot of them had tuberculosis, a whole lot of them. And so now, after that, <clears throat> I um, I can't pass, I can't pass a TB test. In fact, I can't have them no more. I failed the first one, and then I forgot about failing the first one, and I got another one done like about six years later, and I miserably failed it. And uh, they told me, do not have any more. I'm supposed to have chest x-rays all the time. But, yeah, anyway, I have plenty of chest x-rays with this heart mess. So, anyhow. So, these are the Hobe earrings. And they look like, let's see if we can turn down the thing. Anyway. There we go. Let's see. There. Okay. They look like. They are painted on enamel. They're real thick. They, You can feel the texture of them. I do not have a cowboy. I mean, I have one, but you can't have him. I've had him for 36 years. And I have him trained right now. <laughs> so, I, yeah, soldier boys. Be nice, Bob. Be nice. <laughs> anyway, so these are Hobe. Let me just turn you around and show you the. Hobe mark. There you go. Hobe. Clip on earrings. And we're going to start these guys at $5, guys. Because Hobe is one of my things. And uh, even though I like the Hobe rhinestones. You know, Susan, my town is, is one of the things that we're famous for is we had a had a tuberculosis, a tuberculosis sanatorium here in my town. They had the, a TB sanatorium. We've got Jewelry Nurse in at five. It's now a um, Department of Human Services home for elderly. No, not elderly. For people who are not elderly that can't live on their own. That are, uh, yeah. Anyway, we call it the. It's they call it the colony. So you have TB and SRS. 
Jewelry nurse is in at five dollars. CRS. I don't know what CRS is. So it looks like I have highlights in my hair. I don't. Just gray. Five dollars. Five dollars. We have jewelry nurse in at five dollars. Going once. Jewelry nurse in at five dollars. Going twice. Can't remember. You're so silly. What does TB stand for? Tuberculosis, or does it stand for something else that you've made up for me? Okay, Susan. Five dollars going twice. I'm working on my puppy about taking him O U T. O and tired butt. Mm. <laughs> five dollars going twice. Uh, Miss Cindy, I'm putting them in separate separate little things so they don't bump against each other. Five dollars going twice. And we're sold to Miss Cindy for five dollars. Number twenty three. Okay, I bought this at a store, and when I bought this, I'll just tell y'all, I thought of Miss Joe. <laughs> okay, but then because all I could see was it, I could see it this like this, and I thought it was a like this kind of necklace, but it's not. Look at it. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's a like that necklace. Look at that. Oh my gosh, isn't it pretty? Look at that. Yeah, I, I have Hobe. Let's see. Oh. I have some Hobe in my in my hidey hole that is something like you've never seen Hobay before. But these are my Hobay rhinestones. Yep, those are my Hobay rhinestone earrings. I love them. My friend in Pennsylvania sent these to me. Anyway, so this is what you're looking at. Isn't that gorgeous? And you have Hobo. <laughs> and we're going to start this necklace at $4.00. Four dollars. Where did my there? Actually, I want to measure it. So I measure it this way. We've got Carol Bargain shopping. Hi, Miss Carol. I hadn't seen you in a long time. Seventeen plus. It's 17 inches around plus a three and a half inch extender. So 20 and a half inches. Carol is in first with her four. Uh, let's see. Bar Vita's 450. Bar Carol's back at five. Carol was first at five. Now you got nowhere to go, Bob. You're funny. You make me laugh. Those are just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you. I don't know. I don't think they're glass. I really don't think they're glass, but it's still pretty. Regardless. We are at $5 with Carol first. Debbie Vital is back at $5.50. They're faceted on them. Really pretty. Goes back at six. Six. 
six. It's so 70s looking. Debbie's at seven. <laughs> Vita says, just follow Vita, Bob. Just follow Vita. She'll show you where to go for the criminally insane. <laughs> Well, not criminally insane, just for the insane. So, red necklace. I don't know. Red, purplish. It's purplish red. Real deep red. I was going to say, I sold a garnet garnet bracelet set earlier. David Vital is out. Are you out, Vita? We've got bargain shopping in at $8. Vita's in at $8.50. Nope, Vita's back. Vita is in at eight fifty. And some real pretty dyed halite crosses in today. I got some pretty turquoise in today too. I'm gonna have to look at it real close. Make sure that it's really turquoise. It was sold to me as turquoise from a from a retail site. So I'm Pretty sure it is. So, eight fifty to Miss Vita. Are you done, Miss Carol? Eight fifty to Vita. Let's make sure Miss Carol is done. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. This is number twenty four. Carol, are you in or out? Going one time at 850. This is one time at 850. Going one time at 850. And Carol is out. Going two times at $8.50. Two times at $8.50. Thank you, Carol, for letting me know. And final warning. Final warning. And we were sold to Vita for $8.50. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Okay. I have this pen. It is a pen. Um, it is not vintage and it is not silver. It has a really silver look, but it is not. This I actually brought this out of my own collection of jewelry because I cleaned out a bunch of my jewelry. Uh, I cleaned out some of my jewelry. Okay. Cleaned out some of my jewelry. Okay, so it is, it's a teardrop with this big black. Glass. Feels like glass. It has a pendant holder and it has a brooch holder. Okay. And we're going to start this at $3. $3, guys. Start at $3 on the brooch. You get stuck with the ugly necklace. It ain't ugly. Anyway. Yeah, I wore this on a chain. On a silver chain. Only I wasn't wearing it. So that's why I got put in. Because I have so much black and silver jewelry. That I tend to wear the same things over and over and over again. I know none of y'all do that. Y'all probably wear all your jewelry all the time. And <laughs> anyway, so $3 is where we're starting. I'll polish it up a little bit. It's It's got little fingerprints all over it. I don't know who lives here has little fingers. But anyway, there we go. Like I said, it's not silver, but it's cute. Anybody interested at $3 is where we're starting. This is number 25. $3. It is a pendant and a brooch. See, you got your pendant and you got your brooch. And it is not vintage at all. Yes, it is a pendant. Yep. See, sweetie? It's got the, see the little eye on it? It's got the little eye on it. And then there's the brooch. But you can tell it's not, yep. Debbie's in at three. Debbie is in at three. See no other interest, so we'll just start calling it for her. Going one time at three dollars. 
one time at three dollars. Vita, have you got your earrings yet? Going twice at three dollars. Final warning. So did Debbie Vital for three dollars. Thank you, Debbie. There we go. Okay. Time to change buckets. Nope, not yet. Yeah, I was afraid things were going to be slow with the... Oh, wait. That's number 25. I was going to say, is it time for a giveaway? Okay, guys. We have this really cute bracelet. And it um, is magnetic. And as you can tell, they just each fit in a thing. Like so. They just fit in. Come on. There you go. And there you go. Like that. And I will tell you how long it is. It is. <sighs> it looks like about 8 inches long. So let's just see. Because if it's 8 inches, Miss Thing here can wear it. Rascal been touching it. The little footprints. Uh, I don't think it's 8 inches long. I think it's probably 7 inches long with a 8 inch clasp. Because I can't get it around me to clasp. And I wear a good... I mean, 8 inches I should be able to. So I'm thinking you're looking at about a 2 inch clasp. Probably about 6 inches, 6 and a half inches. No place to wear them. So hang out at Walmart and wear them. So we'll start this at two dollars. Two dollars. Dos dollars. Rassy pooch. Rassy pooch. Ooh, your supper looked good, Vita. I Taco Bell. Got Shell Saver. Shell Saver in at two dollars. Cheryl Saver is in at two dollars. It's really heavy too, Miss Cheryl. So we have Cheryl Saver in at two dollars. So I have a third hoe up here. And the last time I tried to put an earring in, it was um growed over. Anyway, it got real sore and felt like a, like it had a rising in it. Okay, does anybody know what a rising, what I mean when I say it felt like it had a rising in it? Y'all probably going to say, what is she talking about? That is a uh, real southern term there. Felt like it had a pimple or a bull coming up in it. Anyway, it's been really sore. It's really bothered me. <laughs> so, anyway, had a rising in it. Going $2 once. Going $2 twice. This is your final warning. Final warning. And they're all looking at me like, what's the rising? What is wrong with you, woman? So to Cheryl Cyber for $2. So yeah, it growed over, but it may be opened back up now. So now that it has this sore spot, a uh, silver tone bracelet. $2. Cheryl Cyber. There you go. Number 28. Okay. Guys, I have a couple of necklaces like these. Oh, wait. No. 27 is next. Let's, let's not skip number 27 because there's some really cute vintage uh, clip-on earrings. And they are Jomaz. And you can look up that brand if you want. They're Jomaz. These are really pretty. Ooh. Oh, no. So I'll say, crap, I may should keep these. They look like adventuring, but and they're set in gold tone. I do not, they feel like real stones, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Jomaz, there you go. And, okay, they've got some wear on them. I just seen when I held it up, I could see there's a spot right here. At the bottom of this earring, there's a spot. You can see where there's a spot of metal loss. So let's do, let's start a quarter auction. Let a quarter auction. What, Bob didn't answer? Rascal Ben touched it. 
Rascal been touched what? I didn't let you answer what? What did I not answer? let you answer? I don't know what I didn't let you answer. We're at a quarter. There we go. I have a feeling that if you leave Bob and Vita alone too long, alone too long, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> Jewelry nurse is in at a dollar. Just be aware there is some metal loss on that one, but the stones on it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that one almost looks like it is cloudy on the top of it. That stone there. Look, don't it almost look, it's probably just a variation in the stone, but kind of looks like it's a little cloudy. So, anyway, number 27, Jomaz earrings. We're at a dollar. Miss Clarissa, are you finished? Or are you a rising? Oh, I didn't let, let you answer. Did you know what a rising was? Some people don't know what a rising is. <laughs> Dollar and a quarter. Be nice. You got to be nice, okay? <laughs> a rising is what we call a bull. <laughs> a rising is what we call a bull here. If you've got a rising, the skin is rising up and it's got a bull in it. A dollar twenty-five. Clarissa's in at a dollar twenty-five. I did put them in separate. I did put them in separate. Uh, Vita, I don't even think you drink. Period. Do you? Jewelry nurse is in it too. I've never known you to say you drank. So jewelry nurse is in it too. Jewelry nurse is in at two dollars. Some bargains to be had tonight. Some real bargains to be had tonight. Jewelry nurse is in at $2. And Clarissa is out. We're going once at $2. Going twice at $2. And we're sold. Southern. Are you Southern, Bob? So for $2, two. Jewelry nurse. Thank you. Okay, hold on. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. There it is. There it is. Okay, I want to combine these two. Now, did I get did I get the envelope out? There it is. This is number twenty-eight. Selling these together, okay? Whoever bought the uh, the New York earrings while ago, this would match it perfectly. Okay, now you're wondering why is she selling these together? Because I want you to notice these are very Kendra Scott style, but I have looked them over like an eagle. There is no Kendra Scott signature. I know where that usually it's found on the edge here. These are not Kendra Scott, okay? But they're very Kendra Scott-ish. <laughs> anyway, but this chain is worn out. I mean, it's lost. A lot of color on this side a lot of the gold tone on this side the gold tones really good on that side but on this side the gold tones bad so we're gonna sell this one this one along with this one which is this is number 28 and here's the crazy thing this chain is done exactly the same up here we're near the neck you, the gold tone has worn off of the chain. And this one's a little bit smaller and it's more of a coral color. That one down there is a peach. Okay. So we're going to sell these two necklaces. Two necklaces. And guys, we're going to do a quarter auction again on these. Quarter auction. If you have this stuff to dip them, seriously, all you would have to do is dip the chains. Everything else on them is in great shape. But the chains. Or you could change out your chains. But 
yeah you could totally dip them or change the chains out and we're going to start these at a quarter auction and this is number 28 and 32 they go to they, they'll be together and starting bid is a quarter okay starting bid is a quarter 28 and 32 uh Quarter quarter bid, guys. Quarter auction. And we're getting close, guys, to be in to the next giveaway. We've got two more things after this that will go to the next giveaway. Anybody interested in these at a quarter? You're not getting you're not paying a quarter a piece. We're talking about a quarter for both of them. All you'd have to do is change the chains. And if I'd had Good chains to change. I would have, but I didn't. No, nobody's interested. I got Debbie Vital in at a quarter. A quarter. Yep. Debbie Vital is in at a quarter. Anybody else? Cheryl Siver is in at 50 cents. I love the color of this one. Love it. I bought me a purse about that color. Not too long ago. I haven't changed it out. I'm waiting to get a little bit closer to spring. So. Cheryl Siver is in at 50 cents. Debbie's back at 75. Living with the Yankees in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Bob, you don't have a heavy southern accent, though. I've watched lots of your videos. Maybe you've been up there too long. <laughs> you've lost your twang. Cheryl Siver is in at a dollar. Cheryl Siver is in at a dollar. Listen, guys, bargains to be had. Oh, this this bracelet hit this bracelet. This necklace here, I think, is super cool. A dollar, a dollar, a dollar. And then we have the little moonstone looking necklace that is sterling silver that is so pretty. And we're going to do a giveaway. Make sure. Debbie Vital is in at $1.50. Well, his channel is Glam Kitty Jewelry. He does he does jewelry. He makes jewelry too, Vita. He makes jewelry. Cheryl is out. Debbie's at $1.50. Miss Cheryl's out. Going once at a dollar fifty, guys. One time at a dollar fifty. Twice at a dollar fifty. Looking at my phone because it tells me who's first. And we're sold to Debbie Vital for a dollar fifty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. This is heavy, heavy. This is I don't want to say it's just for a man, but it's very manly, okay? It's very manly. We will say that. And uh, it does not have a opening. Does not have an opening. It is just a go over your header. Okay. It is longer. Let's see. And 14. It's 28 inches. Okay. 28 inches. And I believe that this is called a Maltese cross. Isn't that what that's called? A Maltese cross. And we're going to start that this. I mean, like, seriously, this is heavy. Uh, I figure stainless steel. I don't see no signing. It's a little has a little rough feel on the back. Let me just weigh it before I. There we go. Uh, it weighs 4.4 .4 ounces. So, we have this necklace. Has this cross, Maltese looking cross on it. And weighs 4.4 .4 ounces. Has this flat chain. It goes over your head. It does not have a, a fastener. It will go over your head. If it goes over my head, uh... If it goes over my head, it should go over anybody's head because I got a big head, big fat head. 
uh, start at four dollars on this, guys. Four dollars on the cross. But I would, I would venture to say it's a man's necklace. But I mean, anybody can wear what they want to wear. You know, a Klingon cross is that what it is? It does. It kind of doesn't look like a Maltese cross, but then it does. You know what I mean? Very interesting. I think I've had too much caffeine today. There we go. Okay. It is hanging. It should hang from one side or the other, shouldn't it? That's where the hole is, so... Anyway, okay, four dollars is the starting bid on this, guys. Four dollars, four dollars. If nobody's interested, if you'll give me a pass, it'll help me to move along. So, We're supposed to be in the 60s tomorrow. 60s. 63 tomorrow and Wednesday a week ago we were butt deep in snow and now yeah Cheryl says pass anybody else gonna pass pass I think I'll take that over to the booth and put a put a price tag on it and sell it so we've got a pass there so we'll just pass on it Okay, Angela Irene says pass two. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Sterling silver again, guys. This looks like a moonstone to me. Okay. Yep. Bob says his, let me, somebody can show that. There we go. Bob says his YouTube channel is just like his name. Come on by and say hi. Yep. Okay. So. This was in my personal collection. I never wore it. It came in a... Thank you, Amy Sears, for subscribing to me. If you're watching and you want to register, just email me at cindylovesjewelryar at gmail.com. Okay. Let's see how long we're looking at. Anyway, when I found it in my stuff, I knew it was silver. It is 16, 17 inches long. I knew it was silver. The the thing is silver. So I found a sterling silver chain for it to go on too. So the sterling silver chain was not original to the necklace. But I don't figure that the um, chain it was on is was original either. I was trying to make sure what this says. I know this is sterling because I tested it. And I made sure I tested it. And I knew it was marked somewhere, but I can't remember. It's got a... Is that marked up there? Anyway. Okay. It is sterling. It is 17 inches. And then you have this little... Hi, Amy. Welcome. And then you have this beautiful... What looks like to me to be a moonstone. But, I will tell you, it has a flash in it like Labradorite. Does Moonstone flash like Labradorite? Oh, Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. There you go. So, you have this little, looks like Moonstone, but it has such a flash in it. Can you see that flash? Yes, it does have flash. Okay, so we're going to start this little necklace at $10. And just because I cannot find where it said sterling on it, I'm going to test this all again right here in front of God and everybody. But I do know how to test things.
I hate trying to scratch a necklace, though. Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. Cindy Loves Jewelry, AR at gmail.com. Cheryl Siver is in at 11. I know the pendant is marked. I just can't find the mark for the necklace. Oh, yes. It's lighting up very nicely, guys. Very, very nicely. I don't know if you can see this or not, and I'm afraid to tilt it too far. Uh, there you go. 15. We're at 15. So, here, I'm going to try to tilt it. There, you can see it was lit up. I use, if you ever want to know, I use 18 karat acid. 18 karat acid to test. So. You know, but sometimes I, you know, sometimes I feel like, well, I get so busy and do, did I test it right? Did I do it right? So sometimes I just like to show. We're at $17 on this. This one was in my jewelry. And, well, it needed to come out. Of my jewelry. Hold on just a second. Let me. I'm wiping my hands off. So I get the. The. Um, acid off of me. There we go. From the very tip top of the pendant. All the way down is nearly a full inch. Okay. Not quite. But nearly. I would say. Probably seven eighths of an inch. Yep, seven eighths of an inch. So, there we go. Well, it actually looks like a full inch. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I do burn. I don't burn holes in my clothes. I burn bleach spots in my clothes because I'm real bad about not wearing my gloves. So, there we go. We have Jewelry Nurse at 17. Uh, Cheryl Cyber is out. But it did from... From the top now the actual pendant actual pendant the actual part where the stone is is actually a half inch okay so all of the swirly stuff up in here adds another half inch okay so we're at $17 going once $17 going once I dropped my that I dropped my one Yes, that's what I was testing. That's what I was testing. This The necklace is sterling. I can't find a mark on it, but I just tested it and showed. That's what I was testing and showing, that it is sterling. I found a mark on this the other day, but I'm not seeing it today. And sometimes that's just because I'm not looking close enough. I think... That may be it right in there. Oh. Anyway, yeah. We're at $18. $18. And jewelry nurse is up to 20. The um this is marked right here on the very back, right here at the top. Let's see if it'll pop up and show you. Mm, I got to block my face out. I don't think it's going to because it's itty bitty. Yeah. 21. 21. It's right in there. There it is. I just seen it. Right there. And it says. Nine two five. Twenty one. Yep. Twenty one dollars, guys. Twenty one dollars. Twenty 
21. And jewelry nurse is out. We're going one time at $21. This is number 30. Uh, going twice at $21. That's number 30. Let's do a giveaway. Giveaway time, guys. Giveaway time. So we're going to give away a choice of jewelry here. And a free item up to $3 in value, okay? A free item up to $3 in value. Um. Uh, free item up to three dollars in value off of your bill okay so basically you're getting a three dollar disc jewelry so go ahead and start putting your numbers in okay guys go ahead even though i didn't get it topped away give away give away one to fifty and start and i'll go over the rules and all of you that put your numbers in 32 36 those all count okay i just and there you go anyhow so, uh, this is not hosted by YouTube. It is totally a Cindy Loves Jewelry auction. You do not have to be registered, do, nor do you have to purchase anything. You will, you have the chance to win one free jewelry piece or one free item on your order up to $3 in value. So, if you have, say you have a $5 item, I'll give you $3 off of it, okay? So, basically, you're getting $3 off is how it's working. So, so. So, basically, that's how it's working. So, C is a choice of jewelry. I will show you the jewelry choices again. We have these brand new INC great big um, hoops. They're called spaghetti hoop. Spaghetti hoops. We have this faux pearl necklace that is knotted and has a barrel clasp. We have this little green and gold bead. I thought it was chalcedony, but yeah, I think it may be plastic now. We have a red cha cha necklace, red cha cha statement necklace. We have these brand new earrings that say Wildcat on them. They're, I think they're new old stock. They say Wildcat. They're clip uh, vintage since, not, well, they're since 1983. They say gold plated. Okay. They do say gold plated. I don't think I said that while ago. The cha-cha style, what I call a cha-cha style looking necklace. It's kind of more cha-cha than statement. You know, the statements have rhinestone set in settings. This is like a cha-cha where it's, they, they, they dangle down. So, okay, everybody get your numbers in. Get your numbers in. So, don't forget, we do have the auction going. It is a silent auction. The bids are still open even though it said 24 hours the bids are open because i got a message from somebody saying that they couldn't open the link with the links that was sent out on this beautiful james avery butterfly necklace and yes the bids do start at a hundred dollars the value of that necklace is well worth that it is a retired piece and when i found it last year i i could find souls on it i cannot find souls on it now so Anyway, for comparison, but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And because I don't, I'm not sure that I'm just, I don't want to give it away. I'm, I'm not ready to give it away. Hmm. That's why the bid is starting high. So anyway, yes, you did win the, yes, you did win the Moonstone. Yes, you won it. Hmm, look at my hair. Just put my hands all in it. And yes, you want to.
Oops, moon. So. I do have a James Avery ring that will be up within uh, within probably the next 10 lots. I have a James Avery ring. I have a petrified wood silver ring. I have the James Avery ring. You can, if you want to look it up and see um, what it looks like really close, uh, it's called the Song of Solomon ring. It is also another retired piece. It is the first James Avery that I personally ever bought. I bought it on eBay myself. And I showed it the other day. Yeah, I don't like it when it's longer, though. G, did you eat? Did you eat? <laughs> G, G, yet? <yeah. laughs> yep, G. Did you eat? Oh, you missed the moonstone. I'm sorry. But I still have quite a bit of sterling to go, so. Quite a bit. Oh, yeah, the James Avery ring is coming up in five lots, guys. Oh, I have Brighton tonight, too. I didn't tell nobody that I had Brighton. I think I did. Okay, everybody got your number in because I'm fixing to push stop. Stop. There we go. Stop. Okay, here we go. C, choice of jewelry. The number is 13. 13. Number 13. So Bob is at 12. Uh. Bob is at 12. Pat is at 14, but Bob was first. Those are both one away. Okay. Okay. Bob is at 12. Pat is at... Bob, you won a choice of jewelry. Which do you want, sweetie? You've got number three, the earrings. Number six, the bracelet. Number four, the earrings. Number... Uh, Five is the faux pearls, and number two is the cha-cha red. Bob, Bob, which one do you want? Cha-cha red, number two. Number five, faux pearls. Number uh, four is the gold-plated earrings by Wildcat. Number six is the bracelet, Cal Sydney. Looks like Cal Sydney. Uh -huh. And number um, three is these great big, what they're called, spaghetti hoops, brand new by INC. So let's hear it, Bob. Speak now, darling, or forever hold your peace. Waiting on Bob here. Waiting on Bob. I ought to be writing down. Giveaway C. Jewelry piece. Bob Glam. That's what you won. The one or the red one? The Red or pearl. And I didn't sing the song. Oh no, Judah's upset. Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl. Pearl, 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 don't you marry Earl. Uh, Bob, is it the, the pearls or the red? Red, gotcha. That's what I thought. But we gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. There we go. Red necklace. And okay. This one here is a free item up to $3, okay? 
free item. This is Bob. Up to $3. If you don't order anything or don't buy anything, I will give you $3 off. I will send you a $3 PayPal. Okay. Number 36. 36. Okay. Let us go up here. Doop, 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 doop. Let's see. Clarissa is number 36 on the nose. Thank you, Clarissa. D. Didn't you win a while ago? That's great. $3 off. There we go. Okay, guys, let's go. We have about 20 more items to go. Yeah, I got the cha-cha one. We have about 20 more items to go, and we're going to hit it. This is number 31. Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. I love when I pull things out and go, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> so, okay, let's see. Pull it all the way out. Isn't that pretty? Okay. You have a really pretty glass pendant in a kind of a hoopy circle kind of thing. You're looking at about 17 inches with about three and a half. So probably about 20, 21 inches on the length. And then you have these. They feel like all glass beads. Look. Look at that sparkle. We'll start the bidding on this at $3, guys. $3. $3. She has ESPN. Mm. I do, too. <laughs> I subscribe. But only because I subscribe to Hulu and and uh, Disney and ESPN. It's a package deal. Three dollars, guys, on this beautiful necklace. It is gold, and that is really heavy. That is definitely glass. Three dollars. Cheryl is in at three dollars. Cheryl is in at three dollars. Miss Cheryl is in at three dollars. Anybody else? Uh, you got to go up as a quarter. Looks like you have some black onyx beads in there, maybe. No, they're not black onyx. Might be some black onyx. Yeah, that might be some black onyx. You have some AB coated, different color AB coated. Some clear, some smoky quartz looking ones. So, hey, Kathy Evans. How are you, darling? We're at $3 on this necklace. We're going once at $3. $3 on this. Very pretty. Very pretty. Yeah, it sounds like glass. Uh, Angela Irene is in at three fifty. I'm wiping off my teeth where I clicked it. Angela Irene is in at three fifty. Cheryl is back at four. Now I need to dry off because my baby wipe was really wet. There we go. Hate putting anything wet in a bag. Four dollars. Cheryl Cyber is in at four dollars. Lot number, wait. Okay, this is lot number uh, thirty-one. Thirty-one. Uh, we have four dollars. Are you done, Miss Angela? I'll call this a crystal drop necklace. Make sure Miss Angela is done. 
we are at four dollars going once four dollars going once guys Guys, if you've not been watching it, you need to go over to Aged Goodness's videos to her channels and watch. Uh, uh oh, your screen is spinning. Mine's not here. Mine's not here. Go out and come in. Okay, she's at four fifty. She is at four fifty. I got you. Yep, it's still open. Four fifty. Mine is not spinning. I have it here and I have it on my computer and it's not. I have Angela Irene at four fifty. Okay. Four fifty. Four fifty to Angela Irene. Okay. And we're going to say sold to Angela Irene. Cheryl said she could have it. Four fifty to Angela Irene. Thank you. Okay, there we go, number 31. So anyway, what I was saying, if you are not watching her channel, you need to watch. She is doing some awesome frugal meal planning videos. And uh, yeah, I love them. Absolutely love watching them. So, and actually doing more than just meal planning. She's doing the actual buying and cooking the stuff and showing you. Okay, we have this. I've had this necklace before. Before I've had this necklace. Uh, just like it. And you're looking at what looks like to peak. Okay, you won that. Cheryl said she's out and you won it. So, they look like pink quartz with uh, little pink crystals. They are a glass bead. Okay, they are a glass or a stone bead. I've I do believe those to be pink quartz, rose quartz. This is the word I'm looking for. And we are looking for, we've got 12, 24, 12, 15, about 30 inches long with a two inch extender. So we're going to start the bidding on these at $4. $4, guys. $4. These are real pretty. I've had this in the exact rose color, and I think I've had it in a purple, uh, like a lavender light amethyst. So I've had these several times. So $4 on these. Really nice. I really like these. Don't see a signature on these, but uh, they make me think of... Christina collections, but which is not a high end, high end. So they probably aren't, but I do have some Christina collections that are very similar. Amy, uh, Miss Angela was before you. You just have to go up by a quarter. In my auction, quarter bids are accepted. So we have one. Let's see. Two, three, four more pieces of silver, guys. Four more pieces of silver. Uh, Amy's in at four fifty. These are so pretty. And this is silver tone. This is silver tone. Amy is in at four fifty. Angela Irene is in at four seventy five. Four seventy five. Amy is back at five. 
so pretty. Just like how that this this the one that is like crystal is not clear. It it looks clear, and actually they all look clear on screen. I see that, now. but it is a light pink, and these are a, like a a quartz pink. So we have Amy at five first. Amy's in at five first. Five and a quarter to Miss Angela Irene. I have something really cool, too. Y'all going to think that everything I'm selling came from Miss Jude, but I've bought several lots from Jude over the years. And uh, anyway, just some of them... When I would get it, I'd think, I'm going to keep this and wear it a while. And then, didn't wear it very much. So, somebody wanted to see my personal jewelry collection. And I was like, oh my gosh. If I show this to them, they'll know how really sick I am about collecting things. <laughs> really bad. I got it real bad. So, 31. And I did skip. Hmm. Y'all, my counting was like wonky, wonky. Oops, nope. Yep, my count was wonky donkey this week. And Amy is out. We're going once at 575. This is number 33, pink. Necklace. Going twice at 575. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're so to my sweet friend, Angela Irene. And y'all all my sweet friends. Angela's just so nice. She always makes me want to be a better person because she's just nice. So, Barbie just wants me, makes me want to be a smart mouth because I like to provoke her. <laughs> Barbie, are you watching? <laughs> Uh, I'm so mean. I'm so mean. I can't help it. Y'all just think how ornery I'd be if I didn't have Jesus. <laughs> Y'all couldn't stand me. I'm thinking we're looking about 22 to 24 inches here. Okay. So I bought this necklace. Actually, I bought the cross necklace from Miss Josie. And it was on a black cord. And y'all know I have this thing about cords. <laughs> Me and Barbie are very alike about cords. So I had this really pretty silver chain. It's a hair and bone chain. It's a hair and bone chain. Isn't that pretty? And it's about, the chain is about 24 inches long, I do believe. I mean... I think it'll go over my head. Yep, it'll go over my head. It's about 24 inches long. Yeah, she loves her glass beads. Anyway, so we're going to start this at $4, guys. $4. That's a really nice little chain. It is not sterling silver, but it polished up really good. Uh, it is not marked anything. But it was... Pretty dirty, and I polished it up real good. A little shiny cloth. So we got Michelle in at four. Michelle is in at four. This is number 34, black cross necklace. Michelle is in at four. Michelle is in at four. Let's see. Did I leave them laying here? Or did I pick them up? I think I picked them up. Well, I got some pretty glass beads in today. But uh, um, they're just glass. They're not stone. Michelle is in at four. Anybody else coming in on, at, on this at $4? Uh, at $4, we're going once. To Michelle. 
I want to make sure I lay it down there so it don't break. At $4, we're going twice to Michelle. It's one of those crinkly bags. Crinkly bags. Final warning, final warning. Sold to Michelle for $4. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, guys. It's time for James Avery. This is, let me just turn on my, this. This is sterling silver. I will show you the James Avery mark in just a minute. I showed it the other day. weighs 12 grams is what it says now i have to find my little eyeball and find the mark so i can make sure i show it to you but i believe it's right there yes it's right there okay let's see I want to make sure i keep my finger right over it so that when i turn it is that it yes okay okay i bought this ring online there you go oh there it was there you can see the james avery you can see the candelabra james avery this is called the song of solomon song of solomon ring that is hebrew letters around it now to me i have another james avery ring that is a heart and it's not as rough looking as this one this one looks a little rough here around on the edges and stuff right right in there it almost looks like somebody took it and had it sized which i know that james avery doesn't size the rings is my understanding so we're looking at right at 10 and three quarters 10 and a half 10 and three quarters a nice size ring it will actually fit on my thumb fit on my thumb and guys, we're starting this ring at $25. $25. Really pretty. I bought it to wear. But it's so bulky. It is really bulky. Thelma was in with her $25 bid first. I bought this on eBay. And I was when I was going through rings the other day, I told Jude, I'm so mad. I can't believe I can't find the James Avery mark in this. Anyway, and so then I'm sitting here looking. I was like, oh, wait, there's the James Avery. How could I have missed that when I bought it? She laughed at me. But definitely is a James Avery. It has the candelabra with the J.A. The copyright symbol and it's 925 it has been tested so james avery will polish yeah you know the closest james avery to me is probably to texas <laughs> so anyway there is no james avery store in my town in my in my state so but there you go you can see that candelabra real pretty in there so 27 27 dollars to miss thelma that's a good size ring. I mean, that a man could wear that. Dave could wear that. So, Kathleen is out. It goes on my thumb. If I'd realized it fit my thumb, I probably would have been wearing it. I wear this band on my thumb everywhere. You have them everywhere? Yeah. I live in Arkansas. We don't. <laughs> so, anyway. Yep. I think there might be one in Tulsa, but I'm not positive. I, I live about two and a half hours, three hours from Tulsa. So, anyway. Yep, we have Thelma at $27. Anybody else interested in uh, jewelry nurses in it? 30 You grew up in Poto, Oklahoma. I live in the corner of Western Arkansas. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, Michelle, I got your message. I'll do that for you, sweetie. We've got jewelry nurse in at $30. Anyway, I live in the corner of Western Arkansas. I literally live probably 40 minutes from the Oklahoma border. I live in Boonville. Boonville, Arkansas. So, south of Dallas. Cool. Thelma is out. We're going once at $30 to Miss Jewelry Nurse. We're going twice at $30 to Miss Jewelry Nurse. I am, Michelle, I am going to include the sliders that was beside it, okay? Just in case you want them. So, she didn't want the chain. So, anyway, not a problem at all. So, and going twice. I said that, didn't I? This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold for $30 to Jewelry Nurse. Thank you, Jewelry Nurse. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Miss Thelma, for bidding. Kathleen Merton. Thank you, and I'm so happy to see you, Miss Kathleen. So happy to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Okay. Y'all, I don't know what it is about me that attracts Mother of Pearl, but it seems to just, like, fall into my lap. Only, you know what? That's not Mother of Pearl. It looks like Mother of Pearl. And this is very vintage looking. So, you have... This swirly, totally mother of pearl look heart necklace with these little swirly beads and these little peach colored tube, tubes. And then it has this little hook and eye thing. And it don't hardly have any kind of a chain there to hook that on. Uh, does it say something? No, it don't say nothing. Okay. And uh, let's do a quarter auction on this. Let's start it at a quarter. Quata quota to cancel to cancel to quote Mr. Ken. Let's go for a quota. Let's look. It looks like elbow macaroni. We'll do a Margaret and put it on her head. <laughs> Good night, Miss Jewelry Nurse. Rest well, sweetie. Vita's in at a quarter. Okay, I have Brighton coming up next, guys. Brighton is coming up next. Good night, Cindy. Rest well, sweetie. Cheryl Siver is in at 50 cents. Cheryl is in at 50 cents. It's got cool components. I mean, you could do whatever you want to with it, but it's got cool things to make. They do like look like big, but they're a little bit big for bit macaronis. So Cheryl's in at 50 cents. Cheryl is in at 50 cents. You want the heart? <laughs> uh, Pete. So, going at 50 cents. 75 to Miss Vita. 75 to Miss Vita. Let's swap that out. And then that'll be easier to get to. I have so much to get done. 75 cents to Miss Vida. Dollar to Miss Cheryl. Get my Brighton necklace ready. And Vita is out. We're going once at a dollar, guys. Once at one dollar. 
twice at a dollar. Final warning. This is your final warning, guys. Like, totally final warning. Let's see. Does it say how long it is? Nope. Guys, this is uh, sold. You made that? I didn't remember you making that. You made that and sent that to me? I don't remember that. Totally didn't. Hmm. Pretty. A dollar. Sorry. Okay, guys. Bright necklace. Brand new. Still has tags on it. At its longest point, it looks like it's going to be about 20 inches. Okay? 20 inches. Okay. Guys, let me get it where it lays right. I'll show you it, and then I'm going to get it where it lays like it's supposed to. There it goes. Okay. This is Brighton. I will show you the Brighton tag. This is what it looks like on the front. It's 20 inches long. It says love across it. I bought this from Barbie in high April. Has a brand new, so it has its tag on it. It says Brighton. And it's the brand new price is $42. It's what it retailed for. Here's the Brighton heart. I'm going to start this at $10, guys. $10. That's what I paid for it. So, can't lose money. $10 on the Brighton necklace. Cannot lose it. Because, otherwise, I'll keep it. Thought I'd wear it and I never have worn it. There's 37, 38, and 39. Got Amy in. In Debbie Vitale, Amy was first. Amy was first. You'll have to go up. I think we're going to have a great big craft sale, guys, in uh, March. Because April said she had a lot of stuff. So, oh my gosh. April, you were not here earlier. I made a, I made a real pretty garnet. Uh, bracelet and earring set in uh, Debbie uh, DJ Live Debbie bought them. Debbie Vital is in at 12. Debbie Vital is in at 12. That's pretty. I know a lot of people collect Brighton. I thought I would wear it because of my name. Y'all know if you've gotten mail from me, you know my last name is Lovin. Lovin. L O V E N. Amy's in at twelve fifty, but I haven't ever even put it on. It's a little shorter than I like them, first of all. But anyway, lots of jewelry beads, some vintage crochet and cross stitch books too. It says love. Hey Jen, we're bidding on this brand new Brighton necklace with the tags on it. They're at thirteen dollars. It's twenty inches long. The original tag was $42. $42. It is brand new. If it looks familiar, it's because you've seen it before. We're at $13. $13. Hey, Jen, last week at Barbie's, I was at Barbie's, and she was doing a pic of, of Amy is out. <laughs> I will be loveless. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it was before you got there, quite a bit before you got there. She was doing a pic of, uh, of earrings bid. Anyway, I bought some Sugar Fix earrings because I know you like Sugar Fix. So, anyway... We are going once at $13, guys. One time at $13. Going twice at $13. Twice at $13. Which, no pressure. I didn't buy them just to sell them to you because I can totally list them on Posh. But I know that you like them. So, twice at $13. Final warning. 
final morning and we are sold to sold to uh debbie vital for 13 dollars guys sold to debbie vital for 13 dollars okay that was what was that number 37 what did i do with 38 and 39 i picked them up and done something with them here they are <laughs> Okay, guys, this one says MMA on it. MMA is the Modern Museum of Art, isn't it? MMA, Modern, Modern, Modern Museum of Art. I didn't know the Miss Love Turtles, too. Modern, Modern Museum of Art. And this one right here can be a buy it now for three dollars. Three dollars buys it now, and your word to put in a Metropolitan Museum of Art. Okay, your word to put in will be MMA. MMA. Three dollars. Just put in the yeah. Just put in MMA. There you go, Amy. Just put in MMA. Okay, Amy's got it with the MMA. It wasn't a bid. It was a buy it now. You just had to put in the right words. Okay, thank you, Amy. That's number 38. MMA, Angel. Brooch, $3. <coughs> Amy Sears. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, now I had something. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. You're an art teacher? Cool. Uh, we're looking at Crown Trafari here, guys. And I was looking here at this, at the chain. Okay. There. I was like, how do I know this is Crown Trafari? There it is. Sandra, there. Right there. Come on. Come on. There, you can see the Trafari has a crown on it. And you have a necklace that looks like this. And it's a woman sitting amongst a bunch of butterflies and birds. And flowers in a little flower garden. And we're going to start the bidding on this at $4, guys. $4. Trying to find my ruler so I can tell you four dollars and we're looking at 20 inches is she dressed well <laughs> she looks dressed <laughs> She does look dressed. I mean. That's how I pulled her out of the thing. That's what she looked like when she came out. Okay. Can't wear naked ladies at school. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. We are at $6. Thelma's back in at 7 Yep, usually they are. This one is something different. It's not. It it looks and feels like it's original. So, yeah, I don't even know where it came from. <laughs> I'll just tell you the truth. I have no clue where it came from. So, Debbie's at eight. Thelma is out. We're going once. Thank you, Miss Thelma, for bidding. Going twice at eight to Miss Debbie. This is your final warning. This is number 39. Number 39, Crown Trafari necklace. Amy's in at nine. Amy is in at nine. Yeah. Amy is in at nine. I don't I don't know where it came from. Next up is another piece of sterling silver. 
Yeah, probably from a different collection. What, baby? Can't she wear naked men? <laughs> oh my gosh, Vita. I'm pretty sure no naked people are allowed. Debbie Vital is in at 10. Hey, did you want to say hi to the people? Did you want to say hi, baby? Come on. Oh, and she's out to Miss Debbie. Debbie is going once at $10. Very nice. Can you see all those people in there? See all those people? Yeah, miss. So, going once at $10. Going twice at ten dollars. Thank you, Amy, for letting me know you were out. Final warning, final warning, and we are sold to Debbie Vital for ten dollars. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Just my baby. This is Rassy. If you don't know who, who this is, this is Rassy. Rascal. Emma's a sweetheart. Emma's a sweetheart. Mwah. His mama's a man. <laughs> and the cat oh you scratched me Rassie hey Jared go get me a Jared go get me a band-aid he scratched me and made me bleed My, that's how thin just that little bit of a that lazy sport dog don't you worry about that lazy sport dog listen if you think Jared and Dave <laughs> Oh. Well, I'm bleeding. I don't want to put my arm on line because I'm bleeding. Here we go. I mean, he got me. His little... You, no, you can't get back up here. You scratched me. Yeah, he's too big for my shirt now. <laughs> Plus, then he scratches my chest up. So... I'll have to buy a bigger brassiere if I want him in there. So, okay, let's see what the size on this is. This is a sterling silver ring. It is a size nine. And uh, I bought this new. I remember now where I bought this. I bought this new from, um, oh, what is it called? It's a sterling silver company that sells on. They have a website and on eBay. So, anyway. So, you have a butterfly. You have a butterfly. Sterling silver. What is it? Um, Anna. A-N-A. A-N-A silver. Anna silver. They sell a lot of stuff that's a lot like the design of James Avery. It's called Anna Silver Company. And I bought this about two years ago. And uh, I just don't wear it. So we're going to start the bidding on it at $10 on this sterling silver butterfly. It is a size 9. Size 9. This is a sterling silver butterfly. We are at $10. We're at ten dollars. Michelle's at ten dollars. Anybody else interested in the sterling silver butterfly ring? I have wonky fingers. Okay, guys. <clears throat> We're not gonna linger long here, okay? Sterling silver butterfly. If you're interested, you need to bid. If not, we'll go on. Going one time at ten dollars, guys. One time at ten dollars. Going twice at ten dollars. Twice at ten dollars. Kathy Evans is in at eleven. Cheryl Cyber, are you still here? My friend. I have thermoset tonight. I have thermoset tonight. Yes, I do. I have thermoset. I do, I do. Mr. Magoo, we're at $12. $12. Do 
Just one one small pair of earrings. That's all. Twelve dollars. Anybody else? Twelve fifty to Miss Kathy. I have a really cool Chico's necklace coming up. Any small rhinestone brooches? No, I don't. I don't have any small rhinestone brooches. No, I tend to. Um, I kind of tend to hoard rhinestone brooches, just a wee bit. <laughs> But I will look for next week for you, okay? I will look for next week. We're at fourteen fifty to Miss Michelle. Fourteen fifty to Miss Michelle. I got those from Charlotte Donnell. I do have another piece of jewelry I made in the auction tonight, Bougie. You've been really pushing me. Oh, I need to talk to you tomorrow. I need to talk to you tomorrow. I got in some really cool stones this week. And I got my stuff from I got my stuff from uh, Cheyenne too. I really liked it. Thought it was real nice. I don't remember what I actually ordered from her, but I got it all in. So yeah, I'll give you a call tomorrow. So we're going once at fourteen fifty. We're going twice at fourteen fifty. Going twice at 1450. You need them for your sewing so bad. And we're sold for $14.50 to Michelle. Yeah, I kind of hoard. This one here is. This lays on my computer all the time because it's the prettiest brooch I've ever bought. It's gorgeous. Has rhinestones on it. I bought that from Miss Jude. <laughs> it's very vintage. It has a trombone clasp and all that. This one here lays here. Over here. It's for my mama. Has little rhinestones in it. So, yeah. I kind of hoard brooches. So... Just a little bit. Not much. Okay. Here we go. 41. 41. This is Chico's and then we have the thermoset. Guys, this is Chico's then we have the thermoset. And this is really cool. I don't care who he is. This is cool. It is. Okay. You have an enamel parrot on this piece of silver and then these beads down here represent his tail feathers okay and then you've got beads here you've got a cord y'all know i don't like cords i've got it let's see it's not i was gonna say it's not as long as it'll go let's make it as long as it'll go and measure 20 inches Here, 20 inches. That's my earrings. They're a fish wire chain hanging down with a probably halite, dyed halite. You can call him tomorrow. He has no friends. Aww. It's Chico's. And we'll start this at... Uh, we'll start this at three dollars, guys. Three dollars. Number forty-one. This is Chico's. Chico's necklace. Start at three dollars. I got them from Charlotte Donnell. Okay, y'all see? Let's see. You see up there? Back up there, my uh, my uh. 
squash blossom necklace. It's it's not real, but it's as close as to real as I'll ever get. I bought that from Charlotte, and she put in. Where did it go? It was right here. She put in this bracelet. She put in this bracelet. Who are you calling Mike? Mike's not here. That's Bob. There. And then these earrings with it as a set. So, anyway, $3 on this. If nobody wants it, just give me a pass and we'll move right along. We'll move right along. Yeah. Jamie James Bailey. Nobody wants the Chico's? Okay. I'm passing on it. Passing. It's going in my little bag over here. Okay. Thermoset earrings. That's okay. I have brain farts every day. Most of my day is a brain fart. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Most of my day is a brain fart. So I got these are clip on thermoset earrings. Okay. And that right there is how they would sit on your ear, just like that. Okay, it's a brown, it looks like thermoset to me, okay, uh, they came out of my thermoset bucket, uh, we're going to, we're going to start the bidding on these at, uh, they are not signed, start the bidding on these at four dollars guys, four dollars, y'all know how I am about my stuff, my thermoset, anyway, um, my brother, we call my brother Bubba, so, Cheryl is in at $4. Thermoset. Clip earrings. Not Susan. I hope you feel better. Hope to see you tomorrow night, sweetie. Got $4 on the thermoset. Guys, the piece of jewelry that I made, how do you tell if it's thermoset? Thermoset is a kind of plastic. You just learn about it. Uh, I really don't know how to tell you. It's just I, I've learned to tell. Do the Chico's have glass beads on it? I don't think so. I think they're plastic. They might be glass. No, they're plastic. They're plastic. We're going once at $4. Going twice at $4. It is hard to describe. They, it, It's like they have, first of all, it's kind of like they have a glow to them. See that how these kind of have like a glow to them? They kind of have a glow. And it's usually the style of the setting that gives it away. Uh, but it's it's just, there's kind of a glow. I mean, that's all I can really say that explains it. <laughs> and I'm putting these in separate bags, going twice at $4. Going twice at $4. Uh, I don't know if there's a test or not. So, final warning. And so to Cheryl Siver for four dollars. Thank you. I wanna I wanna pull down something here right quick, okay? Oh maybe. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Here. Here we go. Okay. 
Now, these two necklaces that I have, that I have here. Okay. Actually, this is a bracelet. This one here is a bracelet. And I have a matching necklace that goes with it. And I'm fairly positive that this is is thermoset this one here is done in the style of thermoset but i don't believe that it is true thermoset but it could be but i don't believe that it is because it just looks like that it was done in an old style made to look old a lot of the thermoset that has names on it so Angela Irene, can you tell her how you tell something is thermoset? You know a lot about it. Or Miss Thelma. I don't know. It's just something you just, it's kind of like, to me, it's kind of like Bakelite. Once you ever get the feel and know what Bakelite feels like and sounds like, you can almost always see it, even when people are showing it to you on screen. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Man. He double got me. He whammied me. He got me good. Anyhow, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. So, okay, I have 10 pairs of gold tone earrings. Nope, not 10. Do I have 10? I have five pairs of gold tone earrings. You know, I, I was thinking I had 10, but I remembered I only did five. So, okay, one pair brand new on the card. They're Kato's. Okay, black and gold tone. Yeah, the reds have a maroon undertone. That's why I didn't think that one was um, Bakelite. Now, let's see. I was, I was trying to show you two different earrings. These here are a lever back pierced earring. And that one's leaning. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, here, there you go, they're, they're real lightweight, they look like what I call shrimp earrings, and then you have these half hoops, and clip on leaves, and then these right here that are lever back, with a black stone and some rhinestones. So we're going to do a buy it now on these five pairs of earrings, okay? Buy it now. You get all five pairs for a total of $3. $3. Here's your word. Your word is lever. Lever, like lever for lever backs. $3 buys all five pairs. That's less than a dollar a pair. That's less than a dollar a pair. These are nice earrings. Okay, I got you, Miss Kathy. Number 43. Uh, five pairs. Go tone. Earrings. $3. Kathy Evans. Okay. That was number. What was that number? 43. Hmm. Okay. I know what I know in 44. So the setting is sturdy. You just, yeah, you just start learning. Okay, guys, this is really special. <laughs> My friend Jude, uh, I got this from her. Okay, the stone, I'm pretty sure, is a dyed halite stone. But this is a sterling silver fish on this side. This is just a pendant. And um, the markings for this is up in the bail. And they're really hard to see. So I'm not even going to try to show them. Uh, and on the other side, because it is reversible, it's a turtle. Now, I thought I would wear this a lot. But because the chain I had it on, it hit me right here. And... Uh, the other side of the fish tarnished my neck. I, the tarnish on it rubbed off on my neck. And so, uh, it's just a little bit heavy for me. 
So I'm going to start the bidding on this, guys, at $10. This is sterling silver. I'm going to see if I can see the markings to show you, but it is sterling silver. I have tested it repeatedly, and there ain't no way I'm going to be able to show you that marking because it's so faint. $10, guys. It is on what looks like to be a dyed halite stone, but it is sterling. Turtle on that side, a fish on that side. $10, guys. $10. Got Thelma in at 10 Thelma is in at 10. Thelma, I'm just going to tell you to find the marking on it. It is really hard to see. I have looked and looked. There is a faint marking that looks like it says 925, but I can scratch it and test it if you want me to do that for you right now. I don't mind a bit. I keep all of that right here. So, but Thelma's in at 10. You just also. You start learning how things scratch and how they feel. But yeah. Yeah, they just scratch and feel really good. But you can tell. I can almost tell by looking at the scratches. So, yeah. Yeah, it's real cool. We got Thelma in at 10. And there it goes, turning blue. Cheryl is in at 11. And here we go. Hold on. Let me find this one I had a while ago. Thelma's in at 12. Try to... We could step some registers. Okay, you can see they all turn blue. I used the I used the acid, the 18 karat acid, where when you scratch it, it turns blue instead of the red acid. And it is startling. Thumb is at 13. Oh, hold on, I gotta get that up. That's the one thing that worries me about my puppy is. Let's see. Oh, Cheryl was first at 13. Thelma's at 14 now. Oh, wait. There's Mia. Hang there. Thelma is at 14. This is number 45. Guys, we will do our last giveaway after this, okay? Do our last giveaway. Cheryl's at 15. Cheryl is at 15. Really cute. Uh, Cheryl was first with her $15 bid, Amy. Cheryl was first with her $15 bid. Okay, you're out. $15 is where Cheryl was first with her $15. You're welcome to go up just a quarter. But $15. We will do our final giveaway after this. Is uh, Thelma is at 16. It is really neat, isn't it? Turtle. Fish. Pendant. Guys, I'll just tell you this. If, if Jude ever offers to sell you something, you need to snap it up. Because Jude has excellent taste in jewelry. <laughs> excellent taste. I bought some really nice stuff from her over the years. So, I love it. I love it when she offers me things for sale. $17 to Miss Cheryl. $17. I do appreciate all of y'all being here with me tonight. It's been a great night. So...
Oh, I was going to say, I thought Bob picked that. Those are necklaces I laid out a while ago. $17 with Miss Cheryl. We're at $17. We are at $17. Are we all done, Miss Nelma? 17 on the fish and the turtle. $18 to Miss Thelma. I see $18 to Miss Thelma. 19 to Miss Cheryl. $19 to Miss Cheryl. Twenty one to Miss Thelma. I do appreciate all of y'all so much. Twenty one dollars to Miss Thelma. Out to Miss Thelma. We're going once at twenty one dollars. One time at twenty one dollars. We are going twice at twenty one dollars. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we are sold to Thelma Thrift for $21. Thank you, Miss Thelma. Thank you, thank you. Oh, here we go. Giveaway 1 to 50 and start. This is our last giveaway. We have free shipping. If you do not buy anything, you've not bought anything because that is not a requirement to enter. If you've not bought anything, you get free shipping or $3.50, whichever is the most, okay? Um, last week's free shipping was a priority package, and they got free shipping. So, it's whichever is the most, the free shipping or the $3.50. And our F giveaway is the last free choice of jewelry. Choice of jewelry. The last free one. And this is what's left is number five, the knotted pearls, faux pearls, the Chalcedony, Chalcedony, Chalcedony colored bracelet, Chalcedony, Chalcedony, the INC new earrings on the card. They still have their tags on the back, originally $22. And then these that are called Wildcat, and they say that they're gold plated, gold plated earrings. They don't say how much gold plated, but they're from since 1983. So, yep, yep, yepers. Mm. So, if you do not know the rules, pick one number, pick it one time. If somebody else has that number, you're allowed to change it only once. Um, you do not have to purchase nor like my channel nor subscribe. It would be nice, but you do not have to. If you win something I need to send you, I will need at least your email address to do any kind of PayPal transfer. But um, most of y'all, I have all your information, so that's not a problem. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, and you're allowed to change it one time, Miss Raven. Uh, if you... Um, yeah. If you don't win, please don't whine, okay? There will be ne more giveaways next week. So, I do I do a total of six giveaways, two at a time, to move speed things up. So, um, this is also not sponsored by YouTube in any way. It's totally sponsored by Cindy Loves Jewelry. And Cindy does love jewelry. So... Everybody got your numbers in. Got your numbers in. What a good crowd tonight. We're still at 30 people. And I'm going to put in stop.
Did I say stop? Where is Barbie? She must be tired. So, okay. E, giveaway E. Free shipping or $3.50 off. The number on that is number 49. Let's just scroll back up here. Scroll back up here. Number 49. So, we started up here. 42. 49 is clear. Oh my gosh, Clarissa Dazon, go buy you a stinking lottery ticket. This is the third time tonight she's won. Last week it was Susan Gill won three times. Okay, giveaway E. Uh, free shipping. And you have bought tonight, so you will get free shipping. Clarissa Dazon. And if your shipping is more, less than $3.50, then I'll give you the $3.50 off your total. So, right, Clarissa. Okay, let's see who won this um, last piece of jewelry. Oh, number 22. Number 22. Double twos. I don't know why I said Uno. Number 22. I am silly. Don't you forget it. Just remember this silly woman picked you. 19. Pat is 24. Uh, Debbie Vital is 21. It looks like Debbie Vital is the closest at 21. So, Debbie Vital is... And then all hell broke loose. Oh no. Wait. Okay. What? No. Never serenade your girlfriend. Never serenade your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> so Debbie Vital, pick you a piece of jewelry. You've got the Wildcat earrings, number four. You've got the INC earrings, number three. INC earrings. You've got the Cal Sydney colored bracelet, number six, and the faux pearls, number five. <laughs> number five, number six, number three, or number four. Yeah, number four, number three. Pearl number five. There we go. Okay. I got you guys. We've got five more things to go and we will be done for tonight. I thank you and appreciate all of y'all. I do still have, I think, at least one piece of silver. I also have a piece of jewelry that I made that has Labradorite in it. Labradorite. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go. Okay. If you're feeling a little wild, this one is a little odd to me, but we will do a buy it now on this. We're going to do a buy it now on this uh, wild cat here. It's got a wild cat with, I don't know why we have this in it, but it's in it. This is like a satin cord, satin cord, wild cat, buy it now. For two dollars, and if you want it for two dollars, just tell me Wildcat. Wildcat. Definitely different. Two dollars, Wildcat. He almost looks like a bear cat. I got April 1st with Wildcat. Thank you, Miss April. Good night. Take the puppy with you. That's number 46. Number 47. He's awesome. He is kind of cool. 
Okay, guys, I got real lazy today. I didn't even take these hoops out of the packages. So, and I'm lazy to not to. So, uh, we've got a pair of gold tone hoops. No, I got to take them out of the package. You can't see these otherwise. This is five pairs of hoops, okay? Five pairs of hoops. Five pairs of hoops. And I'm pretty sure I've tested these for gold. They don't look the right color. But anyway. So you get they're, they're swirled with silver in them. So you've got this one. And they're like you can wear them one side swirled. Swap ears with the other side not swirled. So they're like you can wear them two ways. Okay. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There you go. You can see that, see that swirl in that. On that side, it has a swirl. It looks like a rhinestone. On this side, no swirl. Okay. That's pair number one. Okay. Pair number two are these. That have the little ridge down them. Let's see. There you go. They're a gold tone hoop. They have a nice little ridge. They've got that little flippy floppy thing. Whatever that's called. Aren't y'all glad that my, my brain is like. I blame it on the C word. You know the C word. Because uh, I had the C word. And it seems like. Since I had the C word, my mind just cannot think of things. So, anyway, we've got some lever back. Gold, just gold tone hoops. That's number three. I did not put any backs on these because I do not have any new ones. If I had backs, they would be used ones. So, I decided, yeah, I'm not even going to put any backs on them. So, I have to go buy some backs. So, this is a silver tone and gold tone half hoop earring. So, there are five pairs of these earrings here. There are gold tone hoops and half hoops. Okay. And uh, we're going to do... We're going to do a bite now on these. And we're going to do a bite now on these. And this one here is the last one. And it is a clip-on. And it has a green, like enamel, swirly thing down the middle of it. And it is in the floor now. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess I should be okay. Because I thought, thought I was going to have the dropsies earlier. And then I didn't. I quit drop dropping. So that's what it looks like. So it's a clippy. It's a clippy. So, okay. So, these are a little bit nicer than those other gold tone earrings that i done. So, I'm going to do them as a bite now at $5. That's a dollar a pair, guys. One dollar a pair. If you would like them, your word will be hoop. Five dollars, five pairs of earrings. Hoop is your word. Hoop, hoop. Hoop is your word. Got you, Miss Kathy. This is lot number 47. 47. Hoops. Five pair. Five dollars. Kathy Evans. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, there we go. I'm writing down something I for before I forget it because because y'all know what I just told you. There 
There we go. Put that in there. Okay. Okay, guys. Y'all have all seen these. I think Miss Jude won one not too long ago. Let's see. I want to make sure. I, oops. Nope. Okay. Sorry. I can't sell this. It keeps popping out of the thing. And needs glued back in. Keeps popping. It's a magnifying glass necklace. And it keeps popping out, but it should be easy to glue back in. I'll tell you what, I'm going to sell it really cheap, and I will glue it back in, okay? Here you go. It is a magnifying glass, and I'm going to sell it for $2. $2. If you want it, blue will be your word. Blue will be your word. Blue will be your word. It has a little rim here. So I got Michelle with blue first. Okay. Michelle had blue first. And I'm going ahead and making sure. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now it, it snapped in there. I'm just going to, I've, I've done glued it, okay? It's done been glued. Uh, $2, Michelle won it. It was number 48. Sorry, guys. Everybody jumped on that. I figured with it being coming out, y'all wouldn't want it. 48, magnifying glass. I find these quite often, so $2, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to let it sit there and cure. Actually, it should be good because that stuff dries pretty fast. And it snapped right in. So, But it does have a rim in it that it snaps into. And then it, yeah. It's not as nice as the one. I have a beautiful one in my room that I really need to bring in here and sell. Y'all know how that goes. You know how long it takes me to do that. Okay, guys, this is it. This is another piece that I made. And this is pretty spectacular. And so if it offends you that I start the things that I make at higher prices, I'm really sorry. But I will tell you, we have all these mossy agate chips. And then we have these two big labradorites. These right here are both labradorites. And so is this right above it. Then we have a quartz stone. Then we have two Petoskey stones. And then we have this. Okay. And come here, puppy. Come here. Don't let that kitty intimidate you. You bark at him and you tell him, get the crap out of my way, yo. Mean old kitty. 24 inches has my CJL on it, and then it has a little hang tag that says Handmade by Cindy Loves Jewelry. Guys, I've got a lot of stonework in this, okay? And I want to start it at $12. $12 is what I want to start it at. Has these two big labradorites, those littler labradorites. That's some kind of a quartz, but all these are like little mossy agate. We have Bouge in at 12 first. Lisa Murphy is in at 14. Hi, Lisa. Oh, the cat don't scratch him. The cat just slaps at him and intimidates him. Bouge is at 15. $15. Lisa's at 16 It's really pretty. I love Petoskey stones. And uh, I have a bag that has a bunch of little Petoskey stones in them. And I love it. April's at 20 
And I still have a Starlin Silver necklace. Listen, the cat is a lot bigger than he is, but when I first, when I made this, it was when I first started making, and I'm getting better at getting my crimp beads closer to my beads. There's a little bit of slack there, but I'm getting a lot better at doing that now. I've, I've had this made for over six months, guys. I've had this one made for over six months, so, yeah. So, Lisa is out. Uh, Kathy Evans, are you in or out? April's at 20. This is number 49. Uh, mm -hmm. Earth Tone Necklace by Cindy, by me. Kathy's out. I've never showed that to you. I'm pretty sure I did. I thought I did. We're going once at $20. What you got, Bubby? What you got? Ratty. Hold on. Ratty, what you got? What you got? Bring mama and show mama what you have. Is it yours? Is it yours? Let mama see. Come let me see. Is it yours? Okay, it is yours. I see. It's a stick. Carry the stick in. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of fossil kind of thing. Anyway, it, I got it somewhere. Anyway, and we're going twice at $20. Going twice at $20. I like them, these that are polished up, that are pretty and drilled. This is your final warning, and we're sold to April for $20. Thank you, April. You have some beads that you can make some matching earrings for. I'm looking for something here on the counter. Here it is. I didn't think it would sell that much. So I'll throw in a pair of earrings that match it pretty close. They're not exactly, but... They match really close. They have the same chips. I think these bottom beads may be a little bit different. So I'll throw those in. There we go. 49. Okay. Last thing. Y'all ready? This is it. We're ending with Sterling and Petrified Wood. Sterling and Petrified Wood. Hi. I'm sorry. Him is being mean to you, isn't he? Okay, guys, this is a size, I believe it's a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Oh, it's right at a seven. It's a right at a seven. It is petrified wood. And it is sterling silver. I bought it brand new. And we're going to start the bidding on this at $20. Start at, tw no, it's not 20. I'm sorry, start at $10. I had it on, I had, had something else on my mind. Start at $10, guys. $10. Had that 20 on my, there we go. Kathy Evans is in at 20, at 10. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I got 20 on my mind. Kathy Evans is in at 10. Size 7. Size 7. And this is petrified wood. Size 7. I bought this brand new. And I think I bought this from Anna Silver Company too. I'm pretty sure I bought this from Anna Silver Company also. We're in at 11.
in at 11. Kathy is back at 12. Kathy is back at 12. Oh. Y'all all done? We're at $12 on this ring. I don't even remember what I paid for it now. You wear a six out to Kathy. Going once at $12. Going twice at $12. This is your final warning. Final warning. And we're sold to Kathy for $12. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everybody that was here. That bid on everything. I will be making some more jewelry. And I also have some more jewelry that I've already made. That I'm going to start adding into my auctions. Um, yeah. I have some cool things that I just recently got that I'm uh, going to make some jewelry with and so oh I wanted before we leave I want to show there we're right there I wanted to show uh, age goodness this because she loves beads she loves glass beads so anyway uh, I bought these and they're called, they, they're glass beads. They're not stone, but they're called carnelian olive beads. Carnelian olive glass beads. And they're, they've got carnelian and olive something in them. What was that other? Where? Look. Aren't they cool? So cool. Anyway. So, but yeah. I thought I'd show those to her. Those are so neat. They just are swirly, swirlies all the way around them. Cool. And I actually got those very. Let me make sure what they're called. Yeah. Carnelian olive slash olive dual style glass beads. They're uh, 12 millimeters. I need to buy me some calipers to measure beads, but. Anyway, those are cool. So, yeah. I, I really was real pleased with this place where I got my stuff. So, this time. So, anywho, you guys have a good night. And thank you all for being here. And I will talk to you later. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Invoices will go out tomorrow. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.